Even when they set their traps, they just can't stop me now. People will say this and that, they just can't stop me now. Even when they set up roadblocks, they just can't stop me now. Go down to mix me up in your dirty game. You're only trying to tarnish my name. You're only looking for the innocent to blame. When you're the ones who wish the guns down the lane, you only cause destruction and the pain. But the righteous believes and the rain. Love is all I got to give and I'm not to shine. Looking for the future, the sky I can't tame. Cause I'm so solid as a rock and they just can't stop me now. Even when they send their traps, they just can't stop me now. People will say this and that, they just can't stop me now. Even when they set up roadblocks, they just can't stop me now. So they can't keep a good man down Always keep a smile when they want me to crown Keep the vibes and dance to do my crown They will never ever take my crown Who's a place I say no man curse Things get better when they thought it would be worse Here comes the officers asking for a search They found no weapon just only your dropper. What's the matter, people? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. This is the Morning Connection. This is your host for this week, Pastor Percival Palmer. I'll be joined this week um, with my good friend Michael Aiken, who will be online this morning, but will be in studio the rest of the week. We have a wonderful program lined up for you today, even as this is the penultimate week before we go to the polls next week, Monday. Good morning to you, even as you are Get into work in your private car, in the taxi, in the bus, or you're at home just waking up. Good morning to you. It's going to be a wonderful week, I believe, because God is always with us. So just to tell you that I'm here in studio, uh, Miss Minetti is off for this week, but we'll be having a good week. Good morning to you. This is the Morning Connection when we come right back after our first break of the day at 6.31. Thank you. The following is a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. The Jamaica Labour Party is building a healthier Jamaica for us all. This means more doctors, more nurses, more hospital beds, more diagnostic equipment, and more health centers. This means more access to healthcare for all Jamaicans. It also means shorter waiting times, less medical bills, more smiles, and more lives saved. Join us in building a healthier nation. The Jamaica Labour Party, building for you and your community. This election day, vote Jamaica Labour Party. The proceeding was a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope. 
as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. Hi, I'm Roy Tennant Miller and I invite you to join me on the return of Inside the Soil every Monday morning between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Join the conversation as I take a look into the agricultural sector and ask the questions which you want to hear answers to. That's Inside the Soil with Roy Tennant Miller for news, views and interviews on the agricultural sector here on Best 100 FM Radio every Monday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Tune in. And talk, and talk to me. And talk to me. If you don't get it, you will lose. Make your food be your medicine, your medicine, your food. Blend up your carrot with the lettuce in a juice. Now free it, free mix your vegetable with the fruits. Africa, Africa, one already, two and three. Ready, mama. Ready, ready, ready. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at five to six p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. Vegem Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hackett Park Road. Vitra Printers, your best choice in printing. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. Nine, ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, good morning. Morning, Mike. You're on nine. Hello. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Good morning, sir. How are you? <clears throat> Good morning to you, Pastor P. I'm doing well. Wonderful. I'm in the winter wonderland of Portland right now. The winter wonderland. What does that mean? It's been. It's very cold over there because there's a cold front that is expected. Very cold over Portland. I don't know if we've gotten the cold front as yet. But it is cold here already. It is cold. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a beautiful morning indeed, and we've got to give God thanks for another day. Mm -hmm. So is the fog com coming up over there already too? Or it's still, um, still a lot of fog or mist or so on there? No, well, we're just overcast. No fog, overcast, and low temperatures. Okay, well, that is great. Wonderful. So how are you today? Giving God thanks for another day mm -hmm. on earth, man, because another, may, another day means purpose. And that's got to be fulfilled, of course, as best we can every day. Okay. And looking forward to what all of us, sorry, let me put it this way, looking forward to what some of us are looking forward to and what a number of us are not so happy about. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Oh, Oi. a chance once again to join with God in choosing those who lead us. 
Okay. Because I don't know where you're standing, but I do believe that every government is of God. Whether it's my government or not, you know. So, <laughs> whether it's my color or not, when the dust settles, mm -hmm. the choosing ultimately, of course, is divinely orchestrated by the creator of all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why you and I have to act carefully when we go to the polling booth, because we're repping, we are representing, we're helping a divine God make a choice for the human beings who need his oversight. That oversight, of course, comes through human beings like you and me. Okay. So important, important time, man. I mean, I know some of us, we call it silly season leading up to election. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a, it, it's sad that we, of course, our behavior has defined mm -hmm. this time as such, because it really should be a time of responsibility, a time of reflection, a time of deciding who we're going to pick, who we're going to choose. Mm -hmm. Especially for local government, you know, I mean, although in Jamaica we take local government a little bit lightly, but local government really is that aspect of government. Uh, even though it's not parliamentary, it's not legislative, but it deals with some of the critical human issues mm -hmm. that keep us all going from day to day, you know, public health and markets and fire services and all those things, street lighting, mm -hmm. you know, of course, some road work, the parochial roads, mm -hmm. parochial roads, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I give, I give you a list of that joke quickly, right? There's a road running by my home that goes around and serves some neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I applied to local government to have the road fixed because it, it's just, uh, it was horrible. Mm -hmm. Their response to me was, Reverend, is your road that? I said, what do you mean it's my road? Oh, your father cut that road when he bought the land to allow his neighbors access to their homes. So it's your road. Oh. I said, oh. So which means what? You have to fix it, man. I said, I can't. Come on. How, how am I to do that? Well, you have to figure it out. So I said, oh, so it's all right then. If at the beginning of the road, I put up a gate and collect a toll for people to come in because it's my land. Mm -hmm. You're laughing, so Reg, you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I tell you that because here's the expectation that since my father mm -hmm. did a kind deed by building an access road, mm -hmm. from which now many neighbor, neighbors have built houses to get access to their land. Mm -hmm. And my local government representative say, as a result of that act of kindness, Mm -hmm. It is now my responsibility to pave the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at the same time, I can't put up a gate mm -hmm. and collect a toll mm -hmm. from users who use the road. Okay. They deny me that. Okay. But thank God, the good end to the story is that we were able to... <clears throat> Access some money to fix the road. No, yeah. no, no, no. No, we were able to find a kind contractor mm -hmm. who, of course, I mean, there's a there's a, a regular public road that um, runs perpendicular to that, and he was charged to, he was given the contract to fix it. You know, so a nice appeal to him to extend. Okay. He was kind enough. He was kind enough to you know, extend his contract. I don't know who him collect money from it for it or what him doing to get it, but... The neighbors do have fair, decent access now to their homes. So oh, wonderful. Oh, so there's yeah, a... That's, a, a, that's, that's part of local a... government that we don't even think about. We wake up in the night and see street light. We see garbage collected. You know, our beaches, well, those that are remaining. <laughs> I like how you said that. <laughs> oh, boy. No, we my... have access to them. Oh. Those are all local government things. And it's important to choose people who have the understanding, the wisdom okay to do that. that all right mike i want to uh, i i want to 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 take off even as you talk about local government um there is a an account in exodus 18 um the children of israel um exodus having 18, I think. exodus 18 yes exodus yeah. 18 um so moses had now 
come out of the of Egypt and they were on their way. Now remember Moses had been in exile. Um and Jethro, he had married um Jethro's daughter. All right? Um mm-hmm. and so now um Moses had gone and now his his father brought his his wife and his children to him. And, and and I'm going from it. Jethro was delighted to hear about all the good things the Lord had done for Israel in rescuing them from the hand of the Egyptians. He said, Praise be to the Lord who rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians and of Pharaoh and who rescued the people from the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all other gods, for he did this to those who had treated Israel arrogantly. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, brought a burnt offering and other sacrifices to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat a meal with Moses' father-in-law in the presence of God. <laughs> no, this is this is interesting. Mm-hmm. So Moses is central government. <coughs> mm-hmm. The next day, Moses <laughs> took his seat to serve as judge for the people. Yes, yes. And they stood around him from morning to evening. When his father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? Yeah, Why do you government can't handle all of it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do you sit alone as judge? Well, all these people stand around you from morning till evening. Moses answered, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and instruction. Because remember, Moses had received the, the Ten Commandments by then. Yes. Moses' father-in-law replied, What you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. This is the instruction. This is a wise man, Jethro. Now yes, listen indeed. to me and I'll give you some advice. And may God be with you. You must be the people's representatives before God and bring their disputes to him. We have said and we have continued to say on this program that all government, and this is a hard saying for some people, is instituted by God and they are delegated authority. True? Teach them his decrees and instruction and show them the way we are to live and how they are to behave. But select, listen to this, but select capable men from all the people. Men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands, hundred, fifties, and ten. Have them serve as judges for the people at all times, but have them bring every difficult case to you. The simple cases they can decide themselves. That will make your load lighter because they will share it with you. If you do so, and God so commands, will be able to stand the strain. And all these people will come home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law. Yes, indeed. And did everything he said. He chose capable men from all Israel and made them leaders of the people, officials over thousands, hundred fifties and ten. They served as judges for the people at all times. The difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the simple cases they decided themselves. Well, Pastor P, that's an excellent, excellent record of scripture that you you, you just uh, made us look at. And by the way, before you continue, um, I, uh, for, for those listening who look at the Bible as only a religious book, a holy book, and that it is. Let's make that clear. However, principles. We do ourselves a disservice when we only look at it in that light, because this is advice from a literal, historical record of a group of people who started out as slaves, mm-hmm. like Jamaican masses, mm-hmm. and then developed into a nation that, by the way, we know know them as Israel, but they began historically as a small group of Hebrew ethnic tribes, um, originally about eight or ten families, 20, 30 people, 
They migrated into Egypt and found themselves when they grew into thousands of people, they found themselves under slavery. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, um, they were ejected from Egypt's culture. But be mindful, you know, as any other people, and I'm, I'm pressing you like this because we need to take off our, our religious shade for a moment and realize that what God has put before us here is some incredible advice mm -hmm. on how to govern self. And that was all started, of course, a few thousand years ago, and the record exists for anybody wise enough to look at it now and go, let me learn from this. Mm -hmm. And of course, the first learning that you just put on the table this morning is the fact that this black man called Jethro um, said to this Middle Eastern leader, run the thing like this. You handle central government, appoint some local government, and it will work a whole lot better. You know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, they migrated, of course, to another area at the time. Uh, so they were no self-governing. They were no longer under a pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And all his military might. And uh, um, the, that was the, in case you don't know, Egypt would have been like the U.S. or Russia or China of that time. They were the m mighty power economically and militarily. So this nation comes out of them now and have to self-govern. And the wisdom is, do it right. You know, make sure there's a good division of labor, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Which is what you happened. Know. Which is what happened. Yeah. yeah. And what I, what I really love is, is how Jethro was specific mm -hmm. in saying, select people mm -hmm. who fear God. Yes, that's important. And, and we're not we're calling... Man, but we, I know the people fear God who don't who don't align themselves to the other aspect. He went on to say, and they must be men of truth. Trustworthy men. It, yeah, but... Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's dissect it little by little because I'm sure you know as a, as a church leader of many years and as a man who has been out and about, there are persons, there are many of us who fear God. In mm -hmm. other words, if you ask a man, you fear God, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not a problem to tell life. Mm -hmm. Because we somehow don't equate a fear of God as synonym synonymous with holding to the truth. Oh, yes, we do know. Um, sure, if we mention the word adultery or fornication, yes, man. We're ready to say uh, we're going to withdraw from those things as church people because that is a sign that we fear God. Uh, okay. Now, uh, yeah, be mindful. But... Mm -hmm. That part of fear in God is holding on to truth. You must be men of truth to our people of truth. And then here's another aspect that this this black man of millennia ago also put on the table. Those who hate dishonest gain. Mm -hmm. And that's important. Oh, Lord. And, and and that's important. So here it is, a man. Mm -hmm. Of color, black man, because Jethro is a black man, whether we like it yes, or not. Yes, and I, I, I said that unashamedly, although I know it don't matter to you and Minute and others, mm -hmm. because you are, of course, uh, uh, <coughs> human <laughs> beings who understand that all all of us are, are of come us from human race. Are equal, yeah. Yeah. But it's important to understand that for somebody who, because we're talking about a country, Jamaica, that doesn't seem to be able to get it right, quite like some African countries. Who knows? And I had to to face, I remember when I was in the U.S., I had to face a question from some uh, lighter-colored friends of mine saying, why does it seem as if countries that are primarily black cannot get their acts together? I don't think it's a color issue. I think it's, it's a, a heart issue, issue, as Jethro put here. Of a heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you have to have a heart that fears God. You have to have a heart that honors truth. And you have to hate gaining things dishonestly. Yeah. So, but the, the, it's verse 21, but select from all the people some capable, honest men who, honest men who fear God and hate bribes. And it just speaking to the whole thing of corruption. So, when I, I have it this way now, I use Micah 6 and verse 8 as a, as a grounding. He has shown me, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of me. But to do humbly, love, to love mercy, oh, to, uh, mercy uh, say, uh, yes, humbly, 
and to walk humbly with God. The, the whole thing is that if you fear God, it, it kind of sets you up to be a certain kind of way. Yes, yes. It, 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 and that's one of the reasons why I love the Bible, because, mm-hmm. and why I really believe it's important for those of us who do to help people understand that we're not just talking about um, mystical religious book. This is a book that gives you life skills to run self, yeah. family, community, mm-hmm. nation, if we would only follow it. Yeah. But we get blindsided by thinking, oh, this is just a Christian people so, and church people yeah. and people who have faith. Mm-hmm. No, man. If you are a rational thinking human being, and especially if you're listening, you're up for election right now. Yeah, because... the word of God for the kind of character you should have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To make it and to be an excellent leader. Right. So, <clears throat> so leadership, I believe, is a skill that can be learned by all of us. But you see, yes. in terms of developing, being capable, mean you you develop your, yourself. Be, you be, yes, you're developing indeed. yourself. You de- you learn the skills of management and so on. And it says honesty. Honesty is the best policy, and it comes out of fear of God. The, the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom and hate, oh. bribery. And bribery is about something that is eating out, say, niam in a way, at our lifeblood in this country, corruption, corruption of yes, all. Indeed. That's the, yeah, that's the current word. Yeah, it, it is niamin. It is eating away, and and we talking about it. And and I want us, um, we're gonna continue to follow this up when we come back after the break. Cause we have another skill. But I want you who fear God and hate bribes. How important is that? Because Moses was central. And Moses understood what it says, teach them God's decree and give them his instruction. Show them how to conduct their lives. Mm. But select people from all. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. But select from all the people some capable, honest men who fear God and hate bribes. Appoint them as leaders over groups of 1,150 and 10. They should always be available to solve the people's common disputes. What are the people's common, common disputes? Because we wake up this morning hearing that in Brownstown, there are barricades that are on fire, and the people are saying they're tired. They want water, and water is a local government issue. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it is road. You spoke about road as a local government issue. Fire department, local government issue. So mm-hmm. people have to be careful on who you're looking at. Because it, it is kind of a unfortunate that even though the legislation is put in that certain monies go back to local, right? It, it, is, it is now set in law that you hear in parish councils, well, there are no parish councils now because all of them have been dissolved to make way for this election that is going on that is about to take place on Monday that they, they were saying we don't have resources to do so the basic thing like cleaning gully, cleaning thing is the same money year in year out you have to go well, what to you're funny though there now you say the thing is you know Pastor Pete mm. and <clears throat> let me draw on that part of my experience for a moment because I think you may be aware that I would spend some time uh, interacting with local government mm. and I've thrown my hat in the wind to, to in the ring and of course also into interacting at our state house, uh, it, it is one thing to to um, to be aware, mm-hmm. to have the knowledge of what is needed for the people. In other words, I I, I ran into local government representatives who them know that this needs to be done and that needs to be done and that needs to be done. If they can give you a list of outputs that are necessary, but they didn't have the wisdom to make the right application with the allocation that came from central government because they kept being blindsided by well as, as, as one gentleman told me when he was encouraging me to take some local government money to do something i said no man i can't do that because it's already allocated for that aspect in the division he said no man but remember you know election coming up in there you're going to need some money put on the election okay. I, said, I will trust god for that it's all right don't worry yourself let us do what is right with the money that was sent to us. 
Now, I'll tell you that story because, um, you know, sometimes as human beings, especially when we don't trust God, we run into problems with our decision making. Is that and what we is try happening to do what now? Is right in our eyes. Isn't because that what is happening now? Expedient. Yeah, because we do what is expedient, and it seems yes. that you is know, where we but, are now. But we have to help people understand that knowledge is one thing, you know. But wisdom, the right application of that knowledge in the best interest of those who need is really where it's at. You know, it's easy to know that road one, two, and three need fixing. But when, you're, when you have limited resources, you have, the, you have to have God's wisdom to know which is the best one to fix at this time. You know, and that's part of the struggle of many persons who jump into the ring and those who have the desire, not knowing that they're going to be tested as to whether they have wisdom. That's why, again, I appreciate this passage you put. Choose knowledgeable, wise, and understanding men. Not everybody have that, brother. Are you saying that many have it? knowledge but don't have the right wisdom. application, which is wisdom? Mm. How would you define wisdom, Mike? Our wisdom is the right application of knowledge in the best interest of those who need the wisdom or the wise action. So in other words, knowledge is acquaintance with facts, mm -hmm. truth, principles, and that comes from data, from study, from investigation, um, from experience. So most human beings that you would interact with will have knowledge. We are knowledgeable people for the most part because we are designed like that to acquire knowledge. We innately, without even knowing sometimes, we gain knowledge just by interaction with each other, with our environment, uh, with things around us. So that just happens almost by osmosis. Wisdom now is taking that knowledge and applying it rightly in the best way, in the best interest of those who need action. Just repeat that, that mind, a, mind is what. So repeat that. The, repeat that again. Your definition of wisdom is wisdom is the right application, application of knowledge, right? In the best, best interest, interest, right? Of those who need, right? Wise action, right? All right, Mike. We come up to our seven o'clock break. Um, when we come back, um, even as we have begun to tackle this whole issue of um, governance and what is needed. There are some things that are on the front page this morning. Um, it says, are you being served? Poll finds almost 40% of Jamaican believe standard of work has fallen at local government election. Oh. I wonder if that is an indictment for the last um, eight years, 2016 to now, because we're having it. And then we look at the national budget, focus on roads. It's interesting that you start talking about roads. But interestingly, um, even in that discourse, there's nothing in terms of legislative agenda dealing with corruption. And that seems to be the chichi or the, the, the thing that is eating away at the very fabric of our nation. When we come back, we continue to look at what's happening in our nation and solutions as to wh where we must go. Best 100 FM, broadcasting live in all 14 parishes. Hanover 100.5, 100.9. St. James 100.9. Trelawney 100.3, 100.9. St. Anne 100.3, 100.5. St. Mary 100.5. Westmoreland, 100.1, 100.5. St. Elizabeth, 100.1, 100.5. Manchester, 100.1, 100.5. Clarendon, 100.1, 100.5, 100.9. St. Catherine, 100.5, 100.9. St. Andrew, 100.5, 100.9. St. Thomas, 100.5. And 100.9. Best FM, giving you the better vibe. Best 
FM 100 on your dial. Keep listening. As was said by some wise man somewhere, the road to development begins with a road. Last week, we looked at the plans for the development of St. Thomas and all that will be happening in and around the parish. For today's Going for Growth, we look at an integral part of this development, which is literally its driving force, the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. All plans the government has in place for St. Thomas are connected to and will be driven by the completion of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project ship. Recently, the harbour view to Yalas leg of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project was opened. The Prime Minister, along with other government ministers and members of Parliament and other stakeholders, attended the ceremonial opening to celebrate the completion of another milestone for the project. During his address, Prime Minister Andrew Holness outlined the value that the road will offer to the parish, which he said has been overlooked for too long. St. Thomas is witnessing a remarkable change in its infrastructure, particularly its roadways and public facilities. The Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project is a key catalyst for this transformation, connecting Harbour View in St. Andrew to Port Antonio in Portland. This 17-kilometer leg of the highway spans St. Andrew and St. Thomas and boasts a four-lane carriageway. The other two legs of the highway, Harbour View to Port Antonio and Morant Bay to Cedar Valley, have already been completed. As Mr. Holness describes it, the highway is paving the way for the economic benefits to flow into the parish. This flagship project of my administration is much more than a new road. It will significantly enhance critical infrastructure that is important for your well-being. It involves widening and realigning the existing road to make it safer and more efficient. It involves the upgrading of drains. To ensure the longevity of the highway, Prime Minister Holness says it will be monitored for two years following its full completion to determine how it is affected by weather conditions and other external factors. The road will be watched and studied carefully over its lifetime but intensely in the first two years of its operation because that is when you begin to understand water flows that is when you begin to develop models of patterns so you can know where to put in a drain which drain needs to be expanded if an embankment needs to be built all of those things will have to be adjusted <laughs> In his capacity as Member of Parliament for St. Thomas Weston, James Robertson called on citizens to take pride in the new road and the anticipated levels of development it will bring. This is our project, our project that is making the East a place of the future, a place with the best road in Jamaica, pound for pound. Member of Parliament for St. Thomas Weston, James Robertson. Your government has declared St. Thomas and the whole eastern corridor of Jamaica as the new frontier of development. Prime Minister Andrew Holness. That's it for today. I'm Warren Bertram. Thanks for listening. Join us next time as we continue Going for Growth. If you are a parliamentarian or a public official listed in the Jamaica Gazette December 5, 2023 regarding the Integrity Commission Act or a public official receiving emoluments of $12 million or more during the period January 1, 2023 to December 31, 2023, you must file your statutory declarations as at December 31, 2023 and any outstanding statutory declarations on or before March 31. Download the updated statutory declarations form from the Integrity Commission's website at integrity.gov.jm slash statutory declarations. Ask your human resource or administration division for further information. A message from the Integrity Commission. Bridging. The road signs make the traffic environment safe. The green light means go. Red means stop. Amber also means stop. Yeah man, it don't mean you must speed up. And get this. Even if the lights on green, when the traffic is thick, don't bother move off and block the intersection. And please, don't stop on a pedestrian crossing. Look out for children, the disabled and the elderly. Follow the signs so they all can arrive alive. A production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For all your Honda Ridgeline parts in Kingston, call 326-7371 or 821-5232 now. We sell genuine shocks, power steering pumps, engine mount, fender liner, strut mount, front end parts, engine parts, electrical switches and sensors, and many, many more. Remember, we are your Honda Ridgeline parts dealer located in Kingston. Contact us now at 326-7371 or 821-5232 for more details. Your taxis hold the key. Let's get digital. Get online this March 15. File and pay your final income tax return for 2023 and estimated return for 2024. There are so many options. JamaicaTax.gov.jm, direct funds transfer, NCB online banking, and Scotia online and mobile app. Pay your taxes the digital way. All returns must be filed online and on time. Tax Administration Jamaica, changing the way we do business. Hi, I'm Roy Tenney Miller and I invite you to join me on the return of Inside the Soil every Monday morning between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Join the conversation as I take a look into the agriculture sector and ask the questions which you want to hear answers to. That's Inside the Soil with Roy Tenney Miller for news, views and interviews on the agricultural sector here on Best 100 FM Radio every Monday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Tune in. And talk to me. And talk to me. If you not get it, you will lose. Make your food be your medicine, your medicine, your food. Blend up your carrot with the lettuce in a juice. No free and free mix of vegetable with the fruit. Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya. I have business done by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888 225 5577. You mean to tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they must give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for you, young people. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning. Welcome back to The Morning Connection. It's now 12 minutes after 7 o'clock in the morning. We've had the news we have had some recent developments. Yeah, Mike, you were saying, are you being served? Are you being served? Poll finds almost 40% of Jamaicans believe standard of work has fallen at local government election. Are you surprised? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. And um, for a couple of reasons. Okay. Uh, in general, firstly, I, I don't believe that uh, Jamaica understands the importance of our lo- local government 
our representatives and the work they do. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever we don't understand how important something is, we tend not to give it the credence or give it the attention that we should. Yeah. You know, um, it's similar, similar, of course, to early childhood development in Jamaica. We don't take that seriously. So as a result, we don't pay much attention to it financially. We don't pay much attention to it policy. We don't pay much attention to it regarding accountability. Whenever that happens with any country, really, then that area of life will lag. And that, I do believe, is what's happening with local government issues in Jamaica. It has never been given the importance over the years because it has been overshadowed by the general election and by the MPs and their, import, their own sense of importance and our sense of their importance, too. So if Pastor Percy, for example, decided to run for local government elections in Stony Hill area, you probably get a call saying, Pastor P, a man of your importance, where you run for that for? Mm -hmm. No, man, go for MP. As if somehow being a counselor isn't important. So that's the first general issue, I think, uh, why we, we're we not seeing the kind of performance because we don't think it's important. Yeah, but and then my, as a result, yeah, but, to get back to what you're talking about now, we're not putting the right people in place. And of course, that is a follow through with the fact that it's not important. So any man on the road can run. No, but I'm not concerned but, about but, his but, wisdom, but, his knowledge, nothing. His capability. But I'm looking at a lot of persons, um, just cursory glance in terms of persons who are putting themselves up to run on on the tickets. Um, and I'm seeing lawyers, I'm seeing doctors, I'm wondering what is happening. Is it that there's a change? Perhaps there is. I would certainly hope so. Yeah, but then um, even if there's a change, the third aspect, of course, <clears throat> remember I was saying that the first reason why I think that there may be uh, lack of, of development growth in that area is one, we don't think uh, local government is important enough, and two, we're not putting the right people in place. And then third, it gets back to that question about wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, quite often we don't, we don't make wise decisions uh, we make decisions that more than likely will affect our political career mm -hmm. and what we want that to be, the, the track we want to take. So Pastor Percy becomes the, uh, the counselor for his division up in St. Andrew there. And even though you are you're considered important, and even though you bring the right tools to the table, when it comes down to making decisions, you make decisions based on whether or not you are PNP or GLP. And it's and, not um, based on the that, people. That, that again is another setback. And by the way, as we talk about that, uh, in the news today, or was it yesterday? When, when is it? I think the mayor had said that, um, for example, you mean a debate? Rogue, rogue, yeah, rogue developers are few. It's good. <laughs> the, wait, who said that? I think, uh, let me see if I can find it. Rogue uh, developers are yeah, few. You're talking yeah, about yeah, the debate yeah, on Saturday night? Yeah, yes. That's, yeah, I think it's, <laughs> when it came out of the news. I remember looking at it going, now I know Mr. Williams must know better than that because I am Hello, sure please, Bridget, Bridget. he has to interact with 10 contractors. Nine and a half of them are rogue. Mr. 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 Reverend Reverend Aiken, yes, <laughs> we we um, no, I, I we speak truth. We are not into misinformation. Not my experience, my brother. Maybe it's just country developers then. No, uh, maybe but, it's just country contractors that are the problem. My, my, but my, there's a cultural issue. Michael, with development and contracts here in Jamaica. Michael, Michael, if what happened with um that development that um. Saw somebody being put on leave, departmental leave while in that the integrity commission had to make a ruling, DPP and so on. That is just the tip of the iceberg, you know, to my yes, own mind. Is. It's the tip of the iceberg, as I'm sure. And it's unfortunate that they said we're gonna do our investigation and the lady from NEPA has has gone to the the court to make a constitution. It was in the paper yesterday. She says no. Um, I'm they going to make the court decide. 
Yes. If you can say that the tip of an iceberg. Yes. How the mayor can come out and say it's just a few? That, that, that's just a minority. Few oh come on! Oh come on! You, know, you see, but it's I, like. I, there's, there's, like, there's, I'll, never, uh, there's, I'll never forget, and I'll, and again, that has to do with assessment of problems. Because if you assess a problem incorrectly, you know, you're not going to apply. Right, that's correct. correct. Yeah, but yes. you see, I, I people don't know, you know, one of the greatest places of corruption in this in this country is in local government, because there's not real um, accountability, what, uh, there. accountability yeah. there, and uh, and if. It's but not stories, you know, it's reality. Go ahead, my brother. Go let ahead. me tell you how bad it is. Mm-hmm. Again, let me put on my hat. When I was responsible for this area, mm-hmm. I'll never forget I got a call from the local government uh, <clears throat> office saying mm. they, had, they had asked me <clears throat> to administrate a road contract. Yes. So, of course, uh, people were, were, were at the office at my house, Signed up for work and so on and ready to do the work. I said, hey, don't lift a shovel. Don't do anything, Mr. Contractor, until money is in my hand. Okay. And I, I got some kickback for that, especially from the, 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 the main contractor guy. I said, no, man, we will not work until everything is in place. I am the chief administrator. You will do what I say. So I held them. Accountable. Uh, yeah, man, got a call from... Parish council at the time saying, hey, come for your check, get credit. I live 30 minutes away from that local government office. 30 minutes later, I arrived. When I arrived, I called the financial control. I said, hey, I'm in the area now. Um, where, where are you at? Where exactly are you at right now? Hey, you know, so you better turn back and go back home. I said, stop fooling around, man. I mean, you just called me out of my office in Buffalo. No, I, I'm pressed for time. Don't be joking around right now, man. Where, where am I speaking, Uncle I said, I said, better you turn back, because no check is here for you. I said, you just call me. Now, we're not talking about monkey body, you know. We talk about big contract money. I said, you just call me. Where are you? He said, Rev, go on back here, no check not there for you. I said, tell you what you do. Meet me by the police station, because that's where I'm going right now, because you just call me about a check for $100,000 that must come collect for some road work, and you're now telling me it's not there. So why don't you come down and explain to the commanding officer at the station where the check gone? And of course, he, he got very concerned. Don't do this. Don't embarrass us like this. Don't. I said, no, man, this is rude. You can't do this. You can't waste my time like this. Like a long story short, he told me that I should call the mayor for any clarification. When I called the mayor, you know, and I won't bother tell you what year this was, so to get in trouble. It's the year the mayor to me. Rev, we had an issue, an emergency came up, where we needed some money. And we said, we could borrow a rev check. I said, you said, what? I said, how could you do that without my knowledge? No, Pastor P, be mindful. If you're doing the math quickly, he alone could not, could not be the issue. Because we're not talking about $10 and $20. We're talking about the kind of money. Can you walk into any bank in Kingston right now with a check in my name for nearly a million dollars? And get the chain. No, you can't. Okay, then how was a mayor able to do that? Mm. Because there's some collusion with the corruption in private sector too. My, my, my call. All right. So you, you know that is when, the, when you. No, I, I tell you that story because when you say for some that, some reason we have people who believe that country can run like that. No, but Mike, when you say that, that does brings to light SSL, SSL, SSL. Because we have maintained that what happened at SSL could not have happened without the collusion of banks. Of course. Yeah, without so people in the banks. why I said to you as we began this segment, the whole issue of corruption in Jamaica is a cultural issue. You know, so for, for, for the former mayor, or the outgoing mayor to say that it's just a minority he doesn't understand that he is part of a culture no, but, where dishonesty is primary. But but Michael, but but, but remember that was the 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 mayor who was at length to point out is who Matsin couldn't come back. Do you remember that? I was a no, big, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah man, your know. your your gentleman over in Portland was saying that. That's how we do it all the time. 
and they say, but if you get a hundred and you say you you give the man hundred, you get take hundred for yourself and you give the man hundred. The man, it's not mad saying it was a big thing right. on, on oh, yeah. it was, <laughs> Gonna <laughs> take this thing. No, it's serious. But but just just a break, just to say to you that and on the sixteenth of Feb- February, um, there's something in the Sunday paper about SSL. If people didn't see it, securities and stocks and securities use this opportunity to provide with a further update on actions taken to address matters pertaining to your account with the institution. The temporary manager has said that. Um, there are four categories um, in terms of the client assets, which is cash, local securities, overseas securities, and promissory notes. As previously advised in phase one, and entails dealing with asset character one and two. One is cash, two is local securities. As at February 16, 2024, over 1,000 clients accounts totaling approximately $14.5 billion of local securities were transferred to facilitate assets by SSL through brokers and institutions. Said so effective February 29, they'll cease processing, but cash total in approximately $626 million for over 200 clients has been paid to them. SSL will continue to process cash transfer requests. So there's some, there's something that is happening, but we believe because SSL is over what about a year now in terms of what has happened so some people have started to get back their money but it, but possibly it, hold up hold up hold up before you give us too much hope even though that is a good thing to do the point i'm making is that if you under assess the magnitude of a problem yes your application of the necessary strategies to correct the problem mm-hmm will not be effective enough. In fact, SSL is a good example. Clearly, somebody deliberately or inadvertently underestimated the, the magnitude of the problem at, at SSL. Yeah, And FSC. as a result, mm-hmm. in looking at strategies to make sure that they brought this uh, to righteousness, they, they, they underestimated because evidently somebody never realized that there is somebody involved smart enough to go thief the whole of the computer them and take them gone somewhere. Mm. So enough security was not placed at the place to ensure that that doesn't happen. That happens when you either are involved in the corruption or you have underestimated the magnitude of the corruption and those involved. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the point I'm making, that it is one thing to know that we have corrupt uh, um, contractors and corrupt developers. But to get up and say, oh, it's a minority, means that you may be underestimating the magnitude of the problem. Therefore, as mayor, he's probably not going to do enough to make sure that the problem is corrected. So it goes as, as with the private sector essential issue. But it goes back to then capable leaders. So we <laughs> <laughs> capable oh leaders, people who fear time. God, people yeah. are honest, people do not accept bribes, and that even mm. as we look at um, selecting those at local government, some people believe it is ineffective. Um, but that is a bigger issue in terms of what I would call constitutional change that needs to happen. There is a gentleman, um, Dabdu, um, who wrote in the paper about um, what we're doing in terms of constitutional reform. He say it's not going anywhere. It is, and most people have figured that it, it really is a slap in the face of us as Jamaicans because we really are not serious about... Um, fixing the problems because they don't recognize how important this constitutional is in terms of ensuring and facilitating um, the input of every Jamaicans into mm-hmm. their welfare and also in terms of the overall prosperity of, of, of Jamaicans. We use this word loosely, but I believe that God is a God of, of 
of holy of things. Him not a God who is, is a God, of, not a scarcity God. Him said there's more than enough for everything to go around, but you have to organize it in a way that everybody can get a bite of the pie without well, having Well, here's a question I have for you, yes. brother. Mm -hmm. Especially in your role as a pastoral leader. Yes, sir. Uh, all pastoral leaders are supposed to be transformational leaders. In other words, that is your divine purpose. Mm -hmm. You are to take a life like mine and help me navigate life in such a way that I improve and become a better person. That, that, the part of your job as pastor, elder. Mm -hmm. But how do you fix a country where a negative issue has moved from one or two people doing it to an accepted cultural practice? There's a difference between Percy Palmer standing up in front of a congregation to tell them, thou shalt not sin. Thou shalt not when steal. Nine out of ten believe that, yes, that is sin. And the one sinning feels convicted and comes to the altar and says, help me to be like the rest of you. That's one thing. But when you stand up on a platform and say, thou shalt not sin, and nine out of ten of your congregation are looking up and going, so why do you think that is sin? No, well, Nothing wrong with that because everybody is doing it. Yeah. Or how do you fix a nation when that is where they have arrived at? Whether that's with corruption or crime and violence or child abuse or domestic violence. Everybody, hey, those things are... No, but are you, I mean, are I, you I saying that... Mail, are you saying... Papa, uh, 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 on the child, when I confronted him and uh, wanted to drag him off to jail, he said to me, Pastor... You're majoring in the minor. That are minor things. What? 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 Who was that? The the. This was a, a young man of mine, you know. Well, he had grown up. Now he was in his um, mid twenties. And, then... and I heard that he had uh, gotten involved in um, sexual impropriety with an underage girl. Okay, so of then... course, I confronted him about it. And him said no. And said, "Listen, man, are you one concerned about that?" No, I I would I would push back and say that's not true. But then you raise a question, and we are up I am at so our. Sure it's not true, but uh, no, well, well, I guess you know that culture is numbers, as we know that. Yeah, man, exactly, and that's my problem. Yeah, no, culture is numbers. Have become such a matter of culture that fixing them may not this. be as easy mm -hmm. as just or simply speaking to Moses and saying, "Here's the central a central government." Yeah, when when you yeah, when, when, we may have to have some some real deeper uh, um, uh, strategies that to, to fix it because uh, some of these things are going on too long. The SSL case that you mentioned, They've got the, not, the prime it's minister. not unusual. Oh, all right. The, the prime minister. I mentioned in government, it's not unusual. Yeah, but all right. It's the fact that Christians Mike. will now go in and practice it. Michael, Michael, we have to take our break. We have to take a session break now. It's now 7.31. When we come back, we continue to look at um, what's happening in local government and leadership, but then just some other things just want to introduce that happened over the weekend. Um, all right, don't hang up, Mike. Don't hang up. We're still holding it. Stay in line. Good. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 7543659 ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. 
reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Milan. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Vejan Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vejan Printers, your best choice in printing. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, welcome back to The Morning Connection. It's now 7.36. Mike, you're online, right? Yes, I'm still with you. Okay, all right. So, you were pointing to the whole thing of we be talking about leadership. We are focusing on how important the local government election is and the leadership that we um, select. Um, you, we have um, also highlighted the fact that one of the challenges um, that we are having is even the local government debate, the mayor of Kingston, you were reporting, I didn't see the debate actually, was saying that the thing of rogue development is not a real problem. Right. But but um, I would care to suggest that we think that the mayor does not really understand how big the problem is or they are a part of the problem. Well, I... Uh, I wouldn't be as bold as you to openly say that he may be a part of a problem uh, because I wouldn't want to be accused of making such an accusation. My bank account is, may not be as big as yours to defend that. Mm -hmm. But um, it's certainly logical for you to presume that he either has underestimated the problem or he could be a part of the problem. Underestimated. Uh, all right, which let's is, say it's back let, to what I was saying. Let's That's say, all I right, think. let us agree that he's underestimating the problem um, in terms of what is, is, is there. How many rogue developers are out there? How many yeah. persons given to corruption out there? Yeah. Then all I'm saying is that means then he won't pay as much attention as he should. He won't do the due diligence to ensure that uh, money is properly protected, uh, contracts are properly run, because he's presuming, all right, I'm going to give Michael this contract as a developer, and he's all right, he's good. 
not knowing that Michael, even though him named Pastor Michael, Reverend Mike, he is also culturally influenced by this Jamaican issue of checking money that don't belong to me. Okay, all right. That is the problem. And I say that to, of course, to our shame as pastors, because I don't think we understand the level of corruption that Jamaicans are willing to embrace, even though it keeps popping up. So therefore, our own pastoral strategy is not addressing that either in church. Okay. So it's not just the mayor alone. He has, he has a public role to play, of course, as a public leader. And we have a role to play to make sure that our country follows a righteous pathway. Because Pastor P is not a religious sentence. But the Word of God says, righteousness exalts a nation. Doing what is right will make a nation move upwardly move toward prosperity progress properly that has nothing to do with religion and faith enough okay doing what is right will result mm -hmm. in a nation being exalted but missing the mark you're going to find reproach okay. and of course we see that happening in jamaica as much as we have people who come in and shout we want progress and then another group comes in and shout we want prosperity I want, are we how want... far have we moved since 1962 <laughs> Or, or, or is it that we want justice? <laughs> we want justice. Well, uh, Mr. Daly, Mr. Daly, in um, a letter of the day, um, that is today, he says, why are church leaders so silent? And why are church want... leaders so silent? Yes, right, yes. So as well to eloquent to speak out presently about the out-of-control crime and murder rates, to speak out against the high levels of governmental corruption and speak out against this extremely high cost of living, which is negatively affecting all Jamaicans, especially those at the lowest base of the country. Government has been in a comatose state and doing absolutely nothing to address these major national important issues. Why are the churches and its leaders so silent on these pertinent national issues? prodigiously and negatively affecting most Jamaicans, even those persons in the lower, bigger class sector. Why the church leaders not demanded from the government to ascertain and find out which parliamentarians are under investigation from the Integrity Commission for alleged illicit enrichment <laughs> and also con concomitantly demand from Prime Minister Andrew Holness was the Integrity Commission not being able to formally, legally and lawfully certify is annual statutory de 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 declarations for the past two years extrapolating from media reports. Very important questions. Over to you, yes, Nations, indeed. Over to you, church leaders. Why are leaders so silent on these germane, important, and significant national issues? Well, to answer it quickly, you, you are aware that many of us don't realize the divine role we play as ambassadors and therefore we must advocate for righteousness in our own countries, our own areas of local, or our own local areas. Um, we, we don't understand that. So you, Pastor Percy, you give Michael a church over in Portland to go wrong. I believe my role simply is to get up and preach John 3.16. For the most part, I'm not really aware that I must also be an advocate for the people because we have, we have confused that. Uh, thinking that the separation of church and state and Christian people must be involved in politics. That kind of foolishness has got to be wiped out of the brain of the average pastor. Gotcha. That's the first thing. And then, sadly, uh, my experience has shown that some of us as pastors are corrupt also because it's cultural and we have embraced it and it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're not going to reveal what we are also a part of. Mm -hmm. You know, so... There's ignorance, and then there is, of course, the fact that we are also playing a role in the sin. Uh, I think those two things answer the question as to why we're not so vocal mm -hmm. about it. You know, thank God there are pastors like you and uh, lawyers like Lady Minnett who, for some reason, are uh, believe it's your duty to shout it out. And by the way, that introduces a third aspect that I was hesitant to mention. For some people, you know, there is actually fear. Because if you talk too loud in some circumstances and certain situations, you will get marginalized or you will get threatened. Mm -hmm. So that's 
part of what keeps the culture going. Mm -hmm. Those who are unrighteous have no fear to threaten Pastor Percy and say, if you think you're bad, do that again. Say it again, and you, as a result of being afraid, just mm -hmm. shut your mouth. Okay. Now, I don't know where we're going to go with those three pillars in place because it means that we are going to not come up with the strategies necessary to make this country progress and prosper. Mm -hmm. And those who are holding the reins of government who have chosen mm -hmm. to be corrupt and to choose to be involved in criminal activity will continue growing and growing. But it has got to come to a halt. And I agree with the writer. If the church must start the ball game, we must take the risk, you know, and step in and say, enough is enough. Okay? Um, and I, I hope sometimes when I hear one of the parties keep shouting the time comes slogan, mm -hmm. I hope they're not saying time come for them to govern as much as time come to stop corruption, time come to stop this uh, crime and violence that's going on. Time, time come for us to begin to really pursue doing what is right for the first time in our country's history since 1952. Okay. To overwhelmingly do that and see where that leads us. We have all tried participating in, in doing things expediently, doing things that's wrong. You know, it's like a, a young male sought my advice the other day regarding it, how he should conduct himself and live in life in the future. And I sat to the and said, listen, you know, you've tried everything so far because he had a, a, a young lady of, of, of some dignity had fallen in love with him and he wanted to know, coach, you think I should get married? I said, Bridget, look for life, your life so far. You have done everything that is wrong so far with how you should conduct your life um, sex, sexually and intimately. We'll carry you. Father doesn't baby, we, I'm baby mother. We, we're carrying, all right, try, try the marriage thing now. <laughs> try at least one time we had to stop righteously and oh. see where it takes you. Okay. And you know, in, in giving him that advice, his, his life, quantum leap, in terms of how we count that. Within a few months, he had moved from his country local here. He was um, living nicely in the U.S. He called me and said, after a year up there, you know, I just buy my own home, home coach. Okay. And I said, boy, I don't hear it. I've never done that. Now, I'll tell you that long story because we should, Jamaica just need to try righteousness for a while. I mean, we'll see. Okay. If, if we're not taking now we're past the beat, then we could go back to the crime and violence and corruption. corruption. Okay. But let us at least try following God wholeheartedly. For a short while, let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. and, and righteousness that we're talking about is not people we call, but doing what is right i mean we yes, understand it's not a religious construct is, that, not what is talking. right and wrong yeah. in regards to it um we we are we soon have to open the lines at eight o'clock i don't know um in regards to the the budget that was read um over on i think it was thursday budget debate and all of the thing the focus is on roads but that's what the headline says in the gleaner on on for friday um and the budget has gone up by 300 um, 250 billion dollars or 23 percent more than last year's budget held debt reduction but one of the things in terms of the budget is that corner region gone to 21 billion now and some yes. and I'm but Pastor P Yes. I know and okay, I know you're not missing the point, but you might be overlooking it. Mm -hmm. No matter how much we add to our budget to be able to meet planned and unplanned expenses, mm -hmm. if we don't change our corrupt culture, it will not work. If we some all right. Now maybe there's a listener going, so how you can change culture, how you can change it. Uh, again, uh, because think about this, you know, if we just keep increasing the budget because there's cost overruns, like at Connor Leaves mm -hmm. and we don't sit down and figure out why did the cost overruns happen? Mm -hmm. Who needs to be held accountable for this? Who needs to go to jail over this? 
So you're, so all you're, we do is run another election and we change out or we appoint other administrators. And they continue the same issue. It still adding more money not going to fix the problem. We need to get to what's causing the problem, what's the cultural root issue, and let's get to that and root that out. Now, for example, here's how culture can change. A good example is currently the nation that is the largest economy in the world. In 1979, they were looking down the barrel of poverty because they were having too many babies. And one prime minister got up and simply said, new policy. If you think you're bad, have more than one. But you talk about, you talk about China. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I didn't want to call the name because sometimes, you know, especially Christian people, you're prejudiced because you go, oh, that was a communist state. And yeah, those but, are dictators. So, but the point is, that action began the cultural change that China needed to halt its massive population growth. And as a result, one of the ripple effects of that righteous action at the time is that they are now the world's largest economy instead of one of the poorest countries in the world. So, they had previously not been able to sustain themselves, and whether they were communists or capitalists, they simply could not because they were not producing enough for the size of their economy. One man stand up and say, hey, it done. I mm -hmm. made policy to support that. Now I'm sure that there would have been Chinese people who used their money to buy themselves out of the consequences of that policy. But for the most part, what it did was make Chinese people understand that the culture has now shifted. No, make no sense. Have sex, I have no baby anymore. So, I will so, go to jail. Hold on. Hold on. We so, need to have that kind of prime Bridget, minister Bridget, in Jamaica who will get around and say, Bridget, Bridget. All right, if you think about it, teeth one more dollar. No, but. <laughs> 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 And uh, I know where you're going, you know, and I'm not uh, going there uh, with you, Pastor Percy. Because uh, uh, <laughs> I, I do have no data on my desk that says uh, man is involved. No, I not, I not <laughs> know where it, I, I not been, but you got to know. I video. Uh, no, I am, I am only saying to you, are you saying that in order to fix the problems that we are having, are you saying we must become an autocratic state? No, I'm not saying we must uh, become authoritarian. an authoritarian state. I'm saying we must become leaders with the guts to put in place the strategies necessary to get to where we need to go as a country. That don't have nothing to do with being autocratic. Now, of course, I'm sure if I interviewed your three children, one of them may say that is very autocratic because you may have had to be firm with him or her more than you had to do with another because one was flying right and another wasn't. So being autocratic is sometimes a perception, not reality. All I'm saying is we need, we need leadership who will engage at the level of the root issue that's causing the problem that all of us want to change. I don't know many Jamaicans who are happy with our current crime and violence issue. I don't know that. But at the same time, I know a few who are at the gate, but yet they knew that that barrel had guns in it and they make it come in. And even as I speak to you, I know Christians who are involved. And I have to take them on going, oh, you, you can't do that. Just because you're defending a particular party, and don't get it twisted, sir, I believe that Christians must engage in politics. Yeah, man, jump in with the party politics, but don't lose your allegiance to God and country. So, so what you're saying... It, what the, what you're simply calling for, it, even with what is happening, is, is for men and women who have backbone to stand up and don't go along with what the general tide of of emotion or wrongdoing is to say no, that is wrong. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but if you don't, but you see, I guess you have another problem. If everything is based on context and there's no absolute right or wrong, do you have a problem again? Yeah, but here's the thing. Even when we have people who uh, ditch what is right or wrong according to them, you know, you, do, you, you, you are aware that because of how we're designed, mm -hmm. that really is not a human response that is worth anything. As much as I want to say, look, I'm now a, a woke person. 
And um, I have new what values is and new... What is war, hey, man? We all know right and wrong here, Pastor P. If I pinch you, you know it's hot. Therefore, you simply should know, don't pinch the engineer. Because when Michael did it, it hurt you. So God has put in us an innate sense of right, right and, and wrong in practical ways. Uh -huh. right? Which is why, by the way, the golden rule is called what? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You really don't need laws and policy, you know. You really don't need it. Because God, the image of God in all of us, even those who don't know Yeshua, them, yet, them, them have a sense have, of what is right and wrong. Yes. Okay. So you are saying use that as a basis to move us forward. People know innately what is right or wrong. That is why people stand up and say we want justice because they know that something is innately wrong with things that are happening around about them. Yes, but the problem is, of course, notice, you know, that whenever you have a we want justice crowd out a road, it's never the man doing the injustice that is part of the crowd. Because he, he has, he, of course, he's invested and he doesn't want to join that. Which is why now we need leadership to step up and say, enough is enough. Time come. Done with this. Mm -hmm. so, which leads me back to what I so, was so, so, to say so, when so, I say, I hope that the opposition, when them show time come. Yeah, you are saying to them. It's not it's time come for PNP leaders. Time come for PNP lead and stop corruption and stop crime and violence and stop the abuse of our children. It's time for us to take these issues seriously because they are leading us nowhere that a country will enjoy prosperity, a country and its people. We all know this. We have the examples in front of us. We have the Eritreas and the Rwandas. We have the Balkans. We have all the countries who have decided, I don't care about wrongdoing. I'm going to just make it grow. It all leads past the person to genocide and an implosion of a country, an ungovernable state. We all know this. PM Holness knows this. Mark Golden knows this. Everybody listening knows this. Every pastor, but we sit down and no one do nothing better. Mm -mm. As so, if somehow we're just going to welcome the genocide that's in front of us, the implosion of a beautiful country and society in front of us, Instead of standing up and being counted when it's necessary, putting in place the strategies and policies necessary to stop it. Okay. So, as we come up to our 8 o'clock break, and we're going to close and then take calls. What you are saying at this point in time, even beyond the politicking that is happening now, and condolences to the the young man that lost his life in the campaign. Oh, yes, another the disaster there, yeah. yeah. Only but, 15 years old, huh? Yeah, but then when they met him, they know their kind mother said, them tell him not to go, but, you know. I, I, oh, I, I, yeah, man, but remember at 50, you remember yourself at 15, Pastor P? Yeah, <laughs> you want the excitement in life. Yeah, but... You know, you, your mommy said, don't go, you're going to run go anyway. So <laughs> I don't blame him, even though he does need to be blamed in some yeah, but um, part. What I blame is the fact that, again, we don't have in place what is necessary to ensure the safety of all our people. Why, why do the palace police back off during silly season and allow a bus license to carry 40, people. carry 400? Why? Yeah, and, and, and you're correct about that. So even there's a call out, even as this or last week before the thing, let us return to law and order we talk about it all the time and because it's politics we say no 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 because i've even seen where even in terms of these motorcades that the police vehicle which is most only a police i see people hopping and riding and i say what in the name of heaven is happening there so we, yes. can you answer this for me yes why is it that a young male can get on camera and disrespect the prime minister and within 24 hours, find himself in lockup. But that same, same young male can lean out of a, a very green bus and do all the things necessary that makes average Jamaicans go, oh my goodness, that's dangerous. But yet him don't get locked up for that. And you hear that we can't find him. How are we going to find somebody like that? So again, it comes down to... Doing what is right. Have, yes, man. Doing, doing what things is right. right the leadership... And the leadership. So 
the, yeah. even with what is happening we go back to where we started in terms of capable people people who fear god people who yes, do indeed. not who do not don't take bribes don't, don't take bribes i'm between you and me and the sir mm. well i don't know how old you are but i really thought that anybody born after 1962 mm -hmm. would have really been a much better prime minister than anybody born before you know ah, geez, huh? yeah but <laughs> but but mike i uh, sir my, i don't know your birthday i don't my, know the my, 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 either my, i'm just making my, a my, general my, statement but what i'm saying is that but 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 even those who were born after um 62 would have learned from what we come and see but it don't look like we are learning no, uh, sir. from what no, has happened sir, sir. and it is so unfortunate that's the point i'm making so unfortunate yeah because it look like we've taken a, a page out of those people book and continue and make it even worse. I must comment though, as we close, that I saw the One Love movie, the Bob Marley. Interesting. You did? Yeah, man. Very good. Ex I'd you recommend, recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend that people see it. Um, I think it's more, even though there is a strong music content um, in the movie, and, and, and Bob was Bob in terms of the guy who did the portrayal, did good. The lady who played Rita was very, very good. I think it was more of a love story. <laughs> that was a very strong sub team um, in the movie. Uh, well, would you agree with one commentator who said that the movie should be titled One Rita instead of One Love? Um, because I'm not somebody so sure. said it's a movie about Rita. Yeah, but it really she was. Role. She was really she was she she was very strong, a very strong um, portrayal, a very strong thing, and. And from beginning to end, she was involved in everything. Even as a, well, she played her role. I helped meet for him. Yes. Yes, she, boy, that, that's A. Hey, for real, you know. Help me for him. There's some lessons to be learned. Yeah. She was a help you know? meet for him. Yeah. Um, and oh. adaptable. But it's now 8 o'clock. Mike, thanks for joining on this morning with some very strong views about, from both of your experience and even as yeah. you did commentary on what is happening, you have said, beyond some people use the slogan, time come, but it's time come for an end to the corruption, an end to the injustice. Yes. Um, uh, of what is happening. Time come for real leaders to step forward and lead us in terms of where we need it. So we cannot be continue to be self-serving and expedient in terms of our policies. We have to think about well said, the future well said, of indeed. Jamaica as we stand. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Bless you. Have a blessed day. You simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone You simply. Best FM, 100 on your dial. Keep listening. I'm Debbie Russ with the BBC News. Hello. Alexei Navalny's widow, Yulia, has said her husband was killed because the Russian president couldn't break him. The 47-year-old Russian opposition leader died suddenly in a prison camp in the Arctic Circle on Friday. Our Europe regional editor, Alice Adderley, reports. Speaking in a video message, Mr Navalny's widow, Yulia, said that somewhere in a prison beyond the Arctic Circle, Vladimir Putin didn't only kill Alexei Navalny as a person, but that he wanted to kill the Russian people's hope, freedom and future. She called on the Russian people to stand by her, to continue her husband's work, fighting for their country. Ms Navalnaya also said the Russian authorities were hiding her husband's body. The Kremlin has denied involvement in his death. The Palestinian Authority's foreign affairs minister has told the UN's top court in The Hague that his people are suffering colonialism and apartheid under Israeli occupation. He went on to accuse Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. Mr El Malki made the allegations on the first day of hearings at the International Court of Justice on Israel's occupation of Palestinian territories. Anna Holligan reports from The Hague. 
The Palestinian Foreign Affairs Minister Riyad al-Maliki began by displaying a series of photographs, past and present, of Palestinians forced from their homes, maimed and killed. The 15 judges were shown a series of maps which demonstrated the shrinking of the Palestinian territories. As a result, lawyers said, of a concerted political campaign and deliberate expanding of Israeli settlements. Israel has rejected the ICJ's jurisdiction over its occupation of the West Bank and decided not to take part in these hearings. The former Thai Prime Minister Taksin Chinawat has appeared before prosecutors accused of insulting the monarchy just a day after his release on parole in a separate case. Thailand's Attorney General is investigating comments made by Mr Taksin in a media interview nearly 10 years ago. Hundreds of farmers have driven their tractors into the centre of the Czech capital Prague to protest against new EU agriculture policies. Pictures show farmers standing outside the Ministry of Agriculture waving Czech flags. They're demanding the government end support for the EU's Green Deal. The farmers say plans to halve pesticides, reduce fertilizer use, and slash greenhouse gas emissions will ruin their livelihoods. The Czech agriculture minister is Marek Viboni. I understand the problems of Czech farmers. I regularly deal with their representatives, and for me, they are non-governmental organizations. This is a partner for negotiations, whether it's the Agrarian Chamber, whether it's the Association of Private Agriculture, the Agricultural Union. These are the ones I regularly deal with on a regular basis, de facto, almost every day lately. BBC News. Mexico says its troops have killed 12 alleged members of a drug cartel in a shootout on the border with the United States. Officials in the northeastern state of Tamaulipas said the soldiers had been attacked by armed civilians hiding in the bush. Guns and ammunition were seized. Lucy Atchison reports. Officials in the northeastern state of Tamaulipas said the soldiers had been attacked by 12 armed civilians hiding in the bush. It's the latest outbreak of violence linked to lucrative drug trafficking routes in Mexico. This dates back to 2006, when President Felipe Calderón launched what he called his war on drugs. By the end of his administration, the official number of deaths was 60,000. Successive governments have continued the campaign, and Mexico has now registered more than 420,000 deaths linked to criminal groups. Protests are being held in the Nigerian cities of Oyo and Ibadan against the rising cost of living. The latest demonstrations in the south of the country follow similar ones held in northern Nigeria two weeks ago. Protesters are angry at the high rate of inflation, driven largely by high food prices and the government's decision to end a long-running fuel subsidy. The United Nations Human Rights Commissioner says the UK's proposed legislation to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda runs contrary to the basic principles of the rule of law. Volker Turk said he shared the UN Refugee Agency's concern that the Rwanda bill was not compatible with international law and warned that it risked delivering a serious blow to human rights. Two of Pakistan's leading political parties are meeting again to try to bridge differences over forming a coalition government after an inconclusive election. The latest talks will be the fifth round of negotiations between the Pakistan Muslim League and the Pakistan People's Party. The leader of the Pakistan Muslim League and former Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has been named as the head of the next government. And that's the latest BBC News. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 7543659 ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya, 
I have business down by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You don't have to leave the yard, Bobs. Just call 888-225-5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Number, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and then just give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for the young people. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Willand. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Grave George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Make me a radio and turn me up when you feel low. This melody was meant for you to sing along to my stereo. Hey, my listening crew, this is your late afternoon companion to Chickaloo on your 100 FM dial. Make sure you tune in and turn up every Tuesdays from 5 until 7 p.m. for OTAWTL. That is on the ear to be yours truly. A program that will leave you inspired, entertained, and informed. For the credit giveaways each week. Street Link, where we go in the streets to find out from the people what is hot and what is not, and so much more. And guess what? You can now voice your birthday shout outs on our WhatsApp line at 876-438-9442, and we'll play them live on air. So what are you waiting for? Turn up Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. right here on Best 100 FM, the station that is sizzling every day. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. VegJam Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, or Hagley Park Road. VegJam Print is your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Watch no face, beg no more pardon. Enough drugs, money, they are cherry garden. Enough individual society applauding. You can ask anybody with them, get them starting. But no politician take a donation. So no criminal will never see a station. Never see a cell, not even a courthouse. But every Sunday we see them take a boat out. Hey. Not coast resort and car dealership. The construction company, them just don't legit. Use the washing money, turn it round and hide it. When they kick back, them come in, the government delight it. So, police cancel operation. Cause no real bad man, I go station. 
Now if you check your situation A blood money running nation Come take a look in a Jamaica Injustice in the place now If what you see no really face Then you had the problem what we face to Was about to buy your next six in now Maybe then I never have to be a prisoner Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. It is now 8, 30 minutes after 8 o'clock. We've had a very good morning so far discussing what is needed for local government, which is a very important part of how we function. The lines are open and there's only one line that's operational. It's 876-279-8473. Um... Jethro, the black man speaking to Moses, the leader of the thing, says, it's not good what you're doing. You need to spread the work. And he was, Moses was central, and he was saying, find men who are capable, men who are honest, men who fear God, and men who do not take bribes. Mm. Some interesting characteristics, principles that we can use in regards to how we do this. So this is your host, um, Percival Palmer here, um, going solo this week as my my friend co-host Minette takes a, a welcome break and goes on sabbatical again. So the lines are now open for you to call us, tell us what's happening in your neck of the woods. Again, we send our condolences to that young 15-year-old man who lost his life, part of a motorcade in Portmore in Southboro. PMP motorcade. Previous to that, um, over in Spanish Town, another gentleman fell off a bus. We cry, we encourage, we say, let us be orderly in our political maneuverings, I call it, but let us focus on the real issues. Um, the headline again this morning was 40% of Jamaicans believe that the standard of work has fallen at local government and if you don't know local government, parochial roads, water supply, all those different things are what make up local government they are the persons who approve your building plan those the local government is responsible for garbage collection all those different things and um, they need to be empowered because they deal with your local issues whereas Central government will the central things like national debt and doing policies that will move us forward. So again, the lines are open for you to call us at two seven nine eight four seven three or eight seven six six. Well, it is two seven nine eight four seven three. Is operational so we want to hear from you we want to hear from you this morning good morning caller you know, a call coming in good morning caller how are you good morning good morning how are you today i'm great you know you i'm wonderful where, where, where in jamaica are you calling us from my brother kingston kingston okay all right That's you. do you know who your local your, your candidates are in your area Yes, I do. Okay, wonderful. Well, that mm. is a major development because people have been saying they don't know who it is that is running. So, what's on your mind today, my brother? Well, it is just unfortunate that the young man yesterday in Footmore. Yes, it is unfortunate, and yes, and and, and one other thing I am looking at, and I don't, I I don't think it's me alone looking at it though. Mm-hmm. We, we we need to. When it come on to this campaign, mm-hmm. from you know have a vote. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed You're to not be a part. You're not supposed to be, and 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 the buffs are, are nothing to do with with, with politics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you see, you have these young people now. Yes, they want to come out and and, and say them a PMP or them a JLP, but they, yet still they can't vote. Yeah. So why why are we bringing them on the, on the campaign trail? Mm-hmm. And. And, and, and I think I think the bus drivers them. Mm-hmm. Whenever you get the charter for these these these, these campaign trail, mm-hmm. you have to stick out. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we want to do work, and a man might say, you know, I can pick the winner, I get the work. But mm-hmm. if all of it stick out, then they have no choice but to use you. That's true. That's true. No choice but to use you. So when you de- at, when, when you look in a bus and you see somebody that is not of East, you can tell by looking at times. Mm-hmm. You say no, you need to East, come out. no. Yeah. I'm not moving this bus until this person gets off. Mm-hmm. Mother I- and father, God, and should be whole responsibility um, responsible for these um, youngsters that is coming out. If you don't have somebody to keep your, your, your child, don't go. Mm. Whichever party needs the support and the crowd, yes. There's life at stake. Yeah. And and that is... And the next thing I look at again is that these persons who hanging off these bus. Mm-hmm. That is why you have the flag, you know. Put your hand at a distance and hang your flag outside. Yeah. Don't put your life in danger by hanging off these bus. Yeah, that's true. To whichever party, no really matter which party. I agree with you. I agree with you. And we have to be more responsible in regards yeah, to what we need the, to. Yeah, we need to be more responsible. Um, because as my 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 co host this morning who is online, he was saying, you know. With all the issues that are there, we have to have a major shift and we have to begin to do what is right um, and not expedient. Um, do what is right. And all of us know what is right or wrong, you know, but it looks like we show that off when election season come on board. Yeah. And the next thing we're looking at is that these persons are the lawmaker. Mm-hmm. Whosoever you have support, whichever party you have support, these persons will become the lawmakers of this country. Right. So if you are the lawmaker, why you try you have great love for you you was sitting on the seat? <laughs> yeah. Wow. You you've summed it up right, my brother. You have said it right. It is so true. You have family now grieving, friends grieving. You got my party gone. Mm-hmm. My son or my daughter gone. Yeah. Can they come back? They can't. And that's Something the thing. you have to live with. You have to live with that thing now. Yeah. So I hope it so is... let's a... try prevent. Let's try prevent the pain. Yeah. Prevention is better than with. cure. Prevention is better than cure. Yeah. And so if we can do that, it will go a long way. I agree there, my friend. Thanks. I have I have two young daughters, and if me and my wife now have somebody to come and stay with them, mm-hmm. we don't go on the trail. Yeah. yeah. We don't go. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. But you see, you... We watch it on, t- we watch it on TV. Last, uh, all right, last time we were at home and hear it, and then passing through, and we, we, we ran out and we wave every hand and thing. And because we, we can't go, because the kids are at home. Right. And there's no, no one to stay with them, so we couldn't go. S- same place in Port Moto. Okay. So we couldn't go. Mm-hmm. But you made a decision, I can't go, because guess what happened? I don't have anybody to take care of my children, which is what is a greater thing now. Yeah. And politics. It, and, yeah. The type of politics has changed in, in, in a way, yes, but you never can tell. You go with the children and you can never run with them because somehow you can't run with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. But yeah. we, just, we just have to just do the right thing. Yes. And vote and vote when the time comes. That's what I said to people. Because time time come now. All right, sir. I time hear you, sir. Here. Okay, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes, we have one line. And so remember, the line is that is available to us. It's 279-8473. I, I, I saw something in the paper, Mr. Engineer, and um, in the Sunday paper, one of the columnists was saying, he was not sure. Okay, somebody else online. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Yes, I. Yes, where are you calling me from? You sound like. Who do you want to? Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. Yes, what? Yeah, man. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, man. You know so I, I put more money, you know. Yeah, Vervine. Yes, what? Yeah, I say, me like oh, me like oh, you pay your virgin. The way you not have everything right, you know. Okay. And a long time, I have to go to work and move, you know. Mm-hmm. Long, long time, I have to go to work and move, you know. That's why I say we shouldn't allow them, them, 
people have to come take over the country after we know them stay. Mm. You see, and if, and if we love them the same way, it's all terrible. You know, you're man, you know, believe what you're going to say. Yeah, but but he, but he, but he he was saying you know and if you listen to what him saying it is I'm saying on both sides because him said time come but yeah, time come to know, stop the corruption yeah, and yeah, time come to do what is right but, and to uh, look uh, after the picnic them early childhood and healthcare. Not, not, I didn't think they matter about long long time. Yeah, that's true. Come like, but come like me, tell them tell them all that I smoke, I heard me I smoke. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know? So, but yeah, but, so. So I'm me glad to know that I'm glad to know that I'm alone. Yes, yeah, so and I, and 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 I'm more. They have more wicked than than good, you know, because people people prefer to go on the wicked side and, and reject God. Mm-hmm. You see, and then thing there. You know, see, you know, see, we not even people not even want to plant again. And everybody has can can get up and place, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and all them things there, and, and I talk about. You know, you know, the road is important, you know, but, but it's more important than we the people. And and food and food you know security, see? yeah, that's yeah, true. You know, see? So, so, so when 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 it matter about all of them things, when I have show up and and picture and attack and attack, we still have him plan already. So every law and the plan, the other thing, them things, you know, we still have. Hey, you know, see, much to me, you know, much up in our car, all of them. Even though people are talking about development. Mm-hmm. And then, then we not develop the right way because the people are not developed. And then they get, they get backward. People are just uh, get, get indiscipline and, and are just pure violence and right. money, money, money. Right. You know? So as, as the time comes, we, we stop all of those things. Yeah, to do right and, and, and to live good with people. And yeah, to live righteously. Live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, so, and, then, and we, we change the people, and God has not, the culture, the culture has to change. True. It's not about, 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 why, I'm going to say, why, why, why my brethren, why my brethren, I'm uh, scamming, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and I'm not funny, you know? Mm-hmm. But we will we, we, we stop, we will make you know, say, hey, you Something know, wrong with that. Yeah. I tell you, some man, them, them things are foolishness, man. I come here, brother, talking, and I say, man, them, them, you can't come with them things, man. You have to do the right thing. Both, 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 jamming and, 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 and grabbing and all them things. You can't come with them things, man. Okay. Love people with them things. Uh, and they say, they, they, they try to help them up. They say, I'm going to go more than carrying them. That's true. Okay. So, I get the thing that I talk about a long time. You know, so we want, we want to live, we want to live good. Hey, that's a one Jamaica. But now, so we can we have to set it right before we, before we, we have to say one Jamaica. Because if we set it, if we don't set it right, it's it not about the right. If it's then to if we it, make a house, then up. Mm-hmm. Then up, you know. Right. Yeah, and somewhere where, where, where the damage. Mm-hmm. You can't say it's all right and it's damaged. It's it damaged, so we have, to know, we have to fix it. You know, see? Okay. So, all of them things, you know, if it's over, it's a whole of thing in our mind. Okay. Nothing with it, no more, it's full. All right. So, well, so well, just say one of the things, then, because you remember one yeah. life. So, so you're in agreement yeah, with what him said that we need for yeah, change the culture. Righteousness, man. Righteousness. Yeah, man. Righteousness. Yeah, man. One thing. Yeah, righteousness is the one thing that you do. All right. Peace and love and unity with one another. All right. That's again, thing that makes man come to a go on. All right. And I just think it makes me want to just keep going. Okay. We can't see people with them things and I want to take it away. True. And 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 them have freedom one, you know. Mm-hmm. The less freedom one, I want to come take your own. You know, so how foolish is that? That's so, yeah, that's so wrong. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, man. So, a blessing and a blessing and glory to everyone. Yes, sir. All right then. Come yeah, on. All, all right, right brother. Right, brother. Right, brother. Time comes to stop all of this corruption and all of them things, man. Right, my brother. Corruption, I get more. I'm more. Boys, stop it. I get more. I'm more, sir. Yeah. So we can deal with it, sir. Yeah. So as we now go, I have no future. We don't talk about. True. Yes, sir. Then take care of future. All right. All right. Then. Give all right, thanks. Then. Give yes, thanks, brother. Yes. Good, good. Yeah, the lines. 
open. Remember, only one line is operational. 279-8473. Yeah. So there's a call that is going out. I think we are at a pivotal moment in our history as a nation. We have to do what is right. Good morning. Good morning, caller. Good mo- hey, hello, good morning. Good morning, caller. How are you? Where are you calling us from? Manchester. Okay. What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. Good. Yeah, man. All right. Um, I want to share a little thing with you this morning. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you may hear that about Jamaica's death with a man earlier. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, but before I'm going out, I say, in regard to the day, Jamaica did, I think, based on memory, I think it's over two trillion Jamaica dollars. All right. Yeah. I can I can double I can double check it for you because I know in the budget, them set a lot side over 400 and odd, um, $491 billion or 39% of the budget to deal with debt. And him said that we're going to borrow while about 300 billion in loans would satisfy the shortfall of the 1.3. Okay. Yeah, man. It, it may have the overall debt in terms of... How much uh, money we owe? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I know. Local and overseas. Um, yes, I would say with Jamaica, the debt that we have, mm-hmm. it, will, it cannot be repaid based on our level of production. So, you can not be so, but here is... Um, Every asset that we have is being sold off uh, because we we are not the government did not make policy enough to to so service the debt and do everything. So that's why they know our assets is being given away because we can we don't have enough money to pay. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So our, our our national debt in 2022 was 15.04 billion US dollars. How much trillion dollars Jamaican? Have to go work it out. <laughs> yeah, man. The debt, the debt overall now in 2024 has been big. It's over two trillion Jamaican dollars. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's not what I call to talk about. Um, All right, you're gonna. You, we have got. We have got to take the break. Can you call back or hold? Because it. it... Uh, me, me hold. I can hold. Yeah, man. All right then. <laughs> Let's get digital. Get online this March 15. File and pay your final income tax return for 2023 and estimated return for 2024. There are so many options. JamaicaTax.gov.jm, direct funds transfer, NCB online banking, and Scotia online and mobile app. Pay your taxes the digital way. All returns must be filed online and on time. Tax Administration Jamaica, changing the way we do business. Vijan Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vijan Printers, your best choice in printing. The following is a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. The Jamaica Labour Party is building a healthier Jamaica for us all. This means more doctors, more nurses, more hospital beds, more diagnostic equipment, and more health centers. This means more access to health care for all Jamaicans. It also means shorter waiting times, less medical bills, more smiles, and more lives saved. Join us in building a healthier nation. The Jamaica Labour Party, building for you and your community. This election day, vote Jamaica Labour Party. The proceeding was a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. Hi, I'm Roy Tenney Miller and I invite you to join me on the return of Inside the Soil every Monday morning between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Join the conversation as I take a look into the agriculture sector and ask the questions which you want to hear answers to. That's Inside the Soil with Roy Tenney Miller for news, views and interviews on the agricultural sector here on Best 100 FM Radio every Monday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Tune in and Tune talk in. to me. And Tune talk in. to me. If you know that it will lose, make your food be your medicine, your medicine, your food. Blend up your 
to the lettuce in a juice. No free free mix of vegetable with the fruits. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> All right, thank you for holding, Carla. Oh, he's, he's gone. All right, so... Sorry, we, that caller was holding, we lost him, but 279-8473. Um, based on trading economics, our debt is $2.272 billion US dollars. Good, good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. As you were saying, go ahead. So it's, two point, uh, it's November 2023. The debt was two point two point three. Um, billion US dollars. Yeah, go ahead. What you were saying now? Yeah, man. Um, which is now uh, a few trillion. Um, um, Jamaica dollar. Um, 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 I look at the the um. Okay, I look at the. The 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 island, the on a daily basis, you know. Right, go ahead. I think I picked that yeah, up. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, based on the recommend. So more time, we look at this era where um, Danny Buchanan was MP there for years. Right. Um, That's in um in in uh, Saint Elizabeth. Saint, yeah, man, and um, in Floyd Green is MP there now. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Danny Buchanan's son used to run the place uh, yeah, for a little while after um, Danny Buchanan died. And no, he won it and then he lost it. <laughs> he beat Christoph yeah, Stone. Yeah, man. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, God. You know, me talk to a few of the farmers there. And uh, sometimes I, I travel that year working and me, me talk to a few of the farmers. You see? Mm-hmm. That's... That, that era there, the old Treasure Beach era, Flagaman, that era there, mm-hmm. is one of the driest places in Jamaica that I've seen. I travel extensively over the island. Mm-hmm. It's one of the one of the driest places in Jamaica in terms of rainfall. They don't have, they don't get a lot of rainfall there. That's very they fertile in terms of production. Can them find a way to use that them out? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So down there is very dry and it's very hot. Mm-hmm. And um, as I am here, as a counselor, mm-hmm. um, the people there, a few of them tell me, their the number one problem there is not road really, water. Yeah, we know water, that. Then. Right. Water. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, as a as a MP as a counselor, um, me not have a PhD in an, in um engineering or not, but. You know, if I put up myself to be an MPR counselor, um, I would want to help the people there to get some water because the, that, that era, um, billions of dollars, they, 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 they help the economy at Jamaica with that year in terms of Bread basket. Pro, pro, production. All right. They plant like melon, a lot of melon is not there. Cantaloupe, sweet pepper, cabbage. Um, that place in Jamaica, they are the ones that I see plant the, the most beetroot. I've never seen beetroot on a, on a wide scale anywhere else. They plant the most beetroot in Jamaica. Um, so I would approach the Chinese um, ambassador here if I was a counselor candidate or, or a counselor MP. You know, solution. Approach the Chinese ambassador. Um, in China, they have a lot of um, technology there where, where, where they, they, they would get some low, low power um, 
ตัวลาตัวลาว่าถ้าผมตัดอยู่ตัวลาเย่ Yeah, and, and pull water uh, from the, the the black river close to it or wherever it is, huh? Or or um, they could identify some government land, get some grant from the Chinese or some loan or you know from the Chinese government, mm-hmm. and they get these the solar powered um um water pumps in that pump from well, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I used to work with water commission one time as an electrical technician, so I know the submersible pump thing, but they would use solar power, low power. Yeah. Um, I didn't find some land drink somewhere, put in some pipe and help the people them. Yeah. Uh, MP like Floyd Green with a talk every day. You can't help the people them and I can't say it. Flo- Floyd, Green is, Floyd Green is the MP for that area. Yes, I'm a minister, oh, and of, minister of agriculture. I know... I know there. You see, one of the challenges in terms of you go down there and it's so dry, but there's a black river and you go up to um over the, which one? Not Mount Russell, the other one, the, the mountain that you have to come over to go down to to Saint Elizabeth. Um, where is that mountain? Church. Uh, spur tree? Spur tree, spur tree side. Mm. And they were saying, because when you look, you see some big tanks, and they say it is very expensive to move the water from there up to the top, but there's water no, down man, there. No, man, yeah, yeah, mix up spur tree. Um, 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 Treasure Beach, our flag, man, is south way, um, I think, as south east. Um, Saint Elizabeth. Saint Elizabeth, you know. Okay, so it's that's what I'm saying. To Black River, you know. That's what I'm saying. So you, you, there's that water that would be available that you could use. But as you're saying, the whole thing is coming up with solutions that will help your farmers. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, me, you know what hurt me, um, um, Pastor. Yeah. Me, me talk to some farmer down there, and God know, you see, you look from the acreage of melon, them to dry up like young melon. They planting and them just start there, and they just dry up because of lack of water. Aye. Millions of dollars just, just going down the, dry the drain. Up in the yeah. You know, and you have a minister of agriculture. You don't need no PhD if you do what me I tell you about. You know. Yeah, I know. So it's, it's real yeah. solutions. Any other thing else you want to talk about, my brother? Um, no, man. Um, um, one next day we talk about something else, yeah? All right, then. Blessings. Be safe on the yeah. roads. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, again, the lines are open. Only one line, 279-8473. Um, that's our caller. Uh, you know, it's an engineer. 965 bullets, 965 lives. In terms of the the major guns at the phone, you, you saw that. You saw that. Yeah, man, there is a major gun find on the weekend. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling on Friday, Kingston Wall. Good morning, morning. Morning, Dave. How you doing? Yeah, man. I'm morning, mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Well, she's not. She's she's not here today. Still, you know. Well, she's out this week. Yeah, she had said she'd go home. Let me ask you a question. You are being gun and store there that just mm-hmm. you just had mm-hmm. but go ahead with the question no i'm saying is it that we are we're finally getting on top of the problem or what what it what you think is happening oh, we're not getting on top of the problem okay all right go ahead. Not, it's just that we love to give impression like so it didn't work we're not getting on top of the problem because the question i want to ask pastor we have American diplomats coming here so regular. If it's not a diplomat, it's some um, general or some army chief or so. And we are asking them what they can do about the gun. It's like we're asking for these guys to patronize us. But they are not going to do anything possible because it's a regular thing we keep asking them. If, we are, if me and you, if straight partner, you supposed to play your part, and I supposed to play my part. Why is it that I am doing things for you and I'm begging you? So, is it after 9 11 in the US? Mm-hmm. Is you want to tell me say somebody just pack a hundred guns and it just pass through the US with the technology in the map and just come here as a passer? You be, be, be practical in my journey. Okay, Karate Gun um, was, was commenting on it, yeah, says that. Um, when you make a statement that this is supposed to do this or that, are you referring to John Tom 
was a 9 to 5 job at a factory are saying to him that if you know anything, no, you should go to your representatives, should place more lines on members of the GDC, whatever it's done. Um, yeah, I'm just well, looking at the paper in terms of what was there Sunday. What's your take on it, though? I would say my take on it is, is that that is just foolishness because what a single question, how is it that you are right? You think you can pack some ganja judge and go through normal money and you don't get caught in the United States? No, you can't. You can't. Um, I have 10 or 100 guns, metal guns. One to the metal detector in the United States, one to the scanner, what I'm to the X-ray. Really no pastor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you you see, you see any government minister go to the embassy and look out on them say, What is happening? Why are you not locking your border? Why is it that these gun pass from coming? You see you say nobody saying anything. Because I go so it don't go so pastor. Because if I, I have security guard to guard my farm, four of them, I want me come, me drive on me say I only for guys on my farm picking apple and mango. You don't think I supposed to be up a man security guard or get rid of them? That's or correct. Why is it that the Prime Minister don't go to the US Embassy or the Ambassador and ask him what is happening on here? Of course, they're not going to be because if it's so, then send the gun. More black people got get killed. More black people dying. We don't care about white people. White people don't like black people. And black people always have beef like them want to be friends with white people. No, they ain't no friend. You, ain't that's no what friend. you're thinking. That's what you think. That you and them are no yes, friends. Yes, how can I do my part? What part of all the guns is coming here? What comes to the relationship with the United States and Jamaica? Why is it that Andrew will start the governor general don't go to the head of the embassy ask them what is happening? I'm simply asking Jamaica. You take our own support for part of to go and find a way certain plant or certain food then they get up. That's food, true. Food then they get up our food. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. You are telling me now a hundred guns, nine millimeters and black and etc. Et but they said that Technology. a lot of the, the technical, the truth is with the scanning that should supposed to happen there and the scanning that happens here, you're su- it's not supposed to leave there without somebody knowing and I'm thinking when they're, say, when they're saying, when they're saying that they, may, they should wait until it Deliver and then track the people them and then get home. because I'm not going to do it because you don't go so that may I try to tell it now go so because an intelligent person an intelligent person would I know say they want to nick the teeth on the head so over and over even when it come out them say all they have to sit back and allow the people to, 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 to collect a gun and shoot it no, no go so because guns used to come to war so easy pass and tell them guns are right here you know Mm-hmm. The other day, I saw a video. I saw a video when last year we bought 20 men on the street, find AR 15 in the year, and then the other day, the next one circulating where them start busting AR 15, seeing the same one start rapidly fire and tens of guns are right here. All the guns come here. Yeah, that's the question. Guns are right here, Pastor. You talk about Coast Guard and Marine. They, 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 they have something by marrying some boat where. They must have seized. Why don't fix up these boats and the man and patrol? They don't have no, I must have two Coast Guard vests that patrol. They're not doing nothing. It's just talk to make the feel good. Government passed that over and over, give the impression like they are working. They have all the brightest ideas when they must have four of them. You know, poor them and nothing. PMP run this country for 18 and a half years. What is it that PMP does or did? why this government can't work and continue maintain. It's like everything. Every one of them win is a start over. And, and yeah, I know, so there's things that PNP did and JLP. Take it up. Mm-hmm. But tell my pastor, you came in a ticketing system. Police are driving behind the young lady. Yes, there's your card. And then them stop her. I think it's up. You tell me now. And that may I try to tell you so the thing wrong. I will not be nothing about it. The no, young no. lady, I think it's up and it's up and one money. You know, simply, and to do stuff, I say, lady, try and do this thing Monday morning. No. Oh, you have a technology to find out about people, traffic our people, ticketing, but you know, have a technology to find out 
the gunman you know, rob the people and rape the people and murder the people. Is Why? it I I think what it is, and just and just what I'm thinking, is a question of priorities. What is more important? That's it. Thank you. That's it. Yeah, I will come here, Pastor. I will come here now. I want to the people and vote. We want the people and vote. Look, look, look at what took place at Berlin, and Pastor. You mean with the man? The superintendent. And, and I know the youth. Well, this superintendent came on national TV and told us that the person load gun in a hole. The pastor really, I saw you and the man were intelligent, and you had load gun in a holster. And then the person pull it down, and the next person not put it down, pull it down, and then gunshot, and then a man gets shot in the chest, and it's the guy left him. And you really come on national TV and tell us that, like, them have no regard or respect for Jamaican people in Tesla. Does that make sense to your pastor? It Can doesn't. you load a gun in a holster? Even if you have the post on a nine millimeter and will stick on load, what, let me, Oh, Dave, Dave, I never heard the report. I only heard that somebody was killed. But what did he say that they were loading the gun in the holster? The person was loading the gun in the holster. The superintendent. And it in went the off accidentally. The Commissioner of Police, the superintendent, said the person loaded the gun in a holster. Then the other, the soldier, you to pull the door, man, pull the door. So, one opposite, so pull it and the next one, shut it and then gunshot. Then why the guy never get shot on with my chest? He had trained to shoot in the chest because it's a vital organ there. That really makes sense to your part. I sit down here to pass and I'm a flat screen and listen to the superintendent. I'm just going to have a TV. Because obviously, them people that take Jamaican to eat it. I'm a tell you, so I act like it. That's why they, they do it. Because until we get rid of PNP and GLP, we're quite all right, Pastor. But let me say this to you, though. You keep, like you money, keep, you know? Yeah, but what I'm saying, all right, Dave, I, it's something that you constantly say, and we are going to try to give somebody an idea. You said get rid of PMP and JLP, but what will you substitute it with? Because there is. Use a Rasta, man. Use a Rasta. Rasta murdered the Christian. But what is it? But Rasta, Rasta man born Babylon, you know. Rasta man born Babylon, you know. Rasta man born Babylon, and said they're not getting Babylon, you know, Babylon system. Well, I'm going to ask you a final question, Pastor. Is it true that they'll tell them don't pay tax? Is that law uh, from. I don't. I, I I know that when when hotels come in, they get what is called a tax holiday for a period of time. So I don't know if that's what they're talking about. I'd have to investigate and come back. But if you when the the thing is, you come and invest. I give you a tax holiday. You construct, and then for a period of time, you don't pay local taxes. So last thing, Pastor, why is that the government don't give the motorists then? I want here no license, whatever, like a Canada. Why, 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 why we don't, don't do that? that? Because... Are you giving rich people tax exam? Are you still pressuring the poor people? Uh, well. Pastor, mm-hmm. poor people don't run Jamaica. Andrew Willis don't run Jamaica, now I'm not going. It is the 21 family and the 25. They don't. They don't run Jamaica. They just sham. Okay. Well. Sham. So I call about Pastor. All right, then, good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a very <laughs> the lines are open. It's a question and somebody can I'll do some further research on it in terms of I know that people who come get tax holidays. Whether they get there or not, we need to find out which one of them. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. All right, you have to talk a bit. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you calling from, please, sir? Me? Yes, where are you calling from, sir? I'm not calling from again. I can't remember. <laughs> you don't oh, know where you live. Spanish Town. <laughs> you Spanish. calling from Spanish Town. Okay. So what's up, Brother George? How is Lionheart going? Well, give thanks. One on one, we're still going. You know, we have to just teach uh, people them how to... Look after themselves and stay healthy. True. Yes, remember when we're small, uh, we usually get we look a wash out from the from, from your mother and your father. You know, the one time of the year you must be warm yourself. That's true. 
Yeah. And people you don't do that, do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. So you're advising that them is to why do people it. People getting sick and not having all type of problems. Okay. Because, you know that every time you touch by the full moon, you know, remember the worms, everything on the earth come up, you know. Mm-hmm. And I saw me on that time, you know, your head, the worm that you're sitting So people, that is some people, um, mad when they come from um, full moon because they're not eat up, they're not, they're not clean up themselves. Okay. You understand me? So you have to make sure that you, you have a balanced diet and not only you, your wife, your children, you have to teach them all of these things. And then you have all these fast food places that people just gather there and get taking it and taking the pie in the system and not flushing the system. That is why the Africa is so full of people who are sick. Mm-hmm. You understand me? So if we can um, come get a nice detox from the lion heart in a Spanish town, them good, clean up, clean up yourself, you know, roots and build up your system, especially people are studying. I'm moving from point A to point B. All right, you understand me? I'm going to charge you for that, Adam. But anyway, what's on your mind mm, this morning? Come, I'm going to give you the number yet. <laughs> charge. Come, I'm going to give you the number. Come, I'm going to call you some regimen. Hurry up, man. Hurry up, hurry up. What are you talking to? You can't hurry. charge your feet at a time. I'm going to pay for it. I don't have a problem. Okay, all right. So quickly, get yeah. the number. Okay. I'm um, laying out herbs in Spanish stone. Um... Three four seven five eight five three mm-hmm. or four four nine zero three seven seven. All right. That's so. lion art herbs for all different type of sickness. All right. All right. Thank so. you. Yeah. So, eh. so what you say yeah, now, George? Why I've been watching on the YouTube and on Facebook. Why them are burning the Bob Mar- the one love Bob Marley thing here. Them, they, why is it they burning it out? I think it's a good movie. I think it's a good movie. I saw it on the weekend. No, but people just number one. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about a character, mm-hmm. a musician, mm-hmm. somebody who suffered, somebody who came mm-hmm. from the country, mm-hmm. come in town mm-hmm. and try to make life in town. Yes. We don't want nobody from overseas to come act as Bob Marley. Yeah, but the it's truth is, no, 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 no George, I mean, family here. George, George, the people audition for the, it's a, it's a acting, you know, it's acting. Yes, but. It's acting, George, me. it is acting. So them go through. Oh, all right. No, hold on, yes. George, me, me, I'm saying this, acting. And the, 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 yes. the way of the man, the, you would never know it was not him. The man did an excellent portrayal of Bob. But and we have... Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. You watch a film, man, so a lot of people decide to say they don't really want to see No, it. man, but that's all because right. Because they... people watch and say it's very boring because you don't tell about the life of Bob Marley. You don't tell about the struggle that him got through. You yeah, understand me? Hold a second. I watch other film now. I watch Malcolm X, played yeah, by but, Denzel but, Washington. No, but, and it starts from the root where we where, where yeah, start but, from but that is, when, he, but when George, he died. But George, that is not true because... It begins with Bob and his mom and the rejection by his father when his mother was going overseas. So who said that's true? And then it goes into when he was in trench down and he meet Rita and how he was a brown man and all of the things. That's not true, George. That's not true. No, but I mean, if you go up on Facebook and you, you, you see all no, of these yeah, but, that people are just... No, but that is not true because you, you see no. how the story is written in terms of some of the inspiration for a song like the last song that he wrote which was redemption song yeah and i know that song yeah, by heart you know people are people them, are talking they, they, about um they can't say anything they want and thing the fact is that it it was is a bar picking it's not a movie to to give it a full story yeah, but life. i mean who are talk about it but i'm saying to you and when Bob gets shot, there's one film that I respect until today, day, which one in is Jamaica. It? What's that? The Order They Come by Jimmy Cliff. Mm-hmm. That hit the billboard in America and Europe all over, mm-hmm. and that also put Jimmy Cliff on the map because this were a Jamaican film telling you... about his life. Same thing when he comes from country and come at home. Different time. Different yeah, it don't matter about different time. Your life. Different. You, you, from your one year old until your year old. Different it, time. That different. Is your what, life with, or what, your experience. But with the harder you know, that. George. What, what time? I couldn't. I, 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 listen to me. George. 
But I'm with the harder saying, they come. I'm saying 80% of the people say. Yeah. If they're boring, right. number one, number two, mm-hmm. then say, Ziggy have whole heap of family. Mm-hmm. But Marley have gradually when they look like him, that could act. What no, that could act. That could act. But could, no, here. there's a difference in our whole on. Like us. No. Why are we going to use a foreign Africa? Oh, to come, to come, to come, make a bomb all it. George, Him. it will go on and on and on. That could act. But they are not actors, you see? That could act, but they are not so what, actors. So, so what, not actors in Jamaica? Brethren, there was audition and the people them decided that this is a gentleman. And if you listen to oh, the guy... Oh, the foreign people then decide so they decide, oh, they won't go deal with the foreign people. Okay. No, there were auditions. Yes, because, no, no, I understand but, what you're saying now. But but hold on, if you have auditions for a role, it was open, George. It was open <laughs> to everybody no. to think. So some oh, Jamaicans got to. And speak the people, them that um, come in and the people are non Jamaican. Yeah. No problem. So you, you explain it to me. Mm-hmm. I don't but, understand but, what you're saying. But I'm just saying that, okay, me hear that. <laughs> but me hear that. But remember, the producers were Tough Gun, um, one of the. Tough gun and oh, some other people. That is why me here, be here one of the one be here one of the one of the video. Mm-hmm. One be, they must say Ziggy Marley sell out because him should have used him family them. Oh Jesus. Because of your father. Your oh, father yeah, legacy. No, no, oh, That's God. what I'm not telling what I read, you know. What you, I thought you know, what you saying, but, but what is happening, you know, it is giving the movie. It is pushing it further. Cause remember, you know, it has opened eighty million US already. And that was that was just last week, Wednesday, eighty million already. Yeah, but we're not talking about you're talking about an individual. You're talking about Bob Marley. Yeah. Brethren. Like right. a Jamaican, it, George, not an American, not an English. George, whatever you but it's the same way like a Jamaican get a role to play an Englishman. I mean I understand. I I don't think it is as significant, George. This is my personal thing. They were trying to get a black man to play them son. In that land, then the father said, "No, sir. Okay. He is white. You know, and then she do some audition and say, "No, no, no. Keep him as white." Okay. All right. You don't want to know about that. Oh, well, I, but it's nine o'clock, George. But with the controversy or or the discussions <laughs> will continue to happen. I saw the movie. I encourage people to go and see it for themselves. George, go see it. Go look for the movie yourself and then come back. I don't want to look for it. I don't want to see the documentary. I don't want to see it. All right, then. <laughs> All right, yeah, George. Take Good. Take care. Bless it. Take care. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's 9 as we take our break. <laughs> Best FM, 100 on your dial. Keep listening. Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya. I have business down by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You don't have to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888-225-5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they must give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank Thank God for you know, young people. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. 
for a better choice in all your electrical supplies. A. Authorized 3M dealer and better brand names. B. Better service including free island-wide delivery. C. All major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales. Shop number 8 Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10. Open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876 276 8935. That's 276-8935. Vijam Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road or Pocket Park Road. Vijam Printers, your best choice in printing. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning. It's now nine, four minutes after nine. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Good morning, caller. Thank you for holding. Good morning, Pastor. How are you, Barry? Yes, ma'am. I'm not too bad. You know, time dry down here, man. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody was calling saying, where what, where are you um, exactly in St. Elizabeth, Barry? Oh, uh, Rocky, Santa Cruz. Um, but you see, when you go, you leave Santa Cruz. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Lacovia. Okay. I'm just two, just two miles on the road from Santa Cruz, from the bottom um, stoplight. Oh, so you need some, you need some water, man. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. But we just have to go on because everybody farm, and I'm also here in the farm. So you know, but you have, you have to farm on the panel side, you know. Okay. Yeah, cause we have everybody on here, you know. I know Black River. Remember, say yeah, that, yeah, I, yeah, me, yeah, remember yeah. me a parish in I know, so I know the place. Yes, right, right. So the pan of Maros, Black River of Maros region. Yes, man, I'm parish in so I know. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. Mostly, yeah. if it, who don't know me, I say, because I don't know, so you know the place already. Mm-hmm. You know? So anyway, big up to our cars and listeners worldwide, you know. Yeah, man. Um, big up to Miss Minute, anyway, you don't know, tell yourself, because you don't know, we love you. I enjoy ourselves, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, you see Bob Marley, uh, movie, one look movie, right? Yes, I saw it. Yeah, me don't see it, but that, you see, anything Bob Marley name, name attached to, mm-hmm. he gone worldwide. That's true. Because, because when we check it, Bob Marley is one of the most known human beings in the world right now. Yeah, and his, and his especially, exodus. Especially, especially from Jamaica. That's true. It is. He has put us on the map. And the music yes. was conscious music, whatever people might say. And it echoed where people are at. It, it, it spoke to a lot what's happening in the hearts of, of individuals. So that's what happened, yeah, yeah man. It, it, it's a prophecy. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. It's a prophecy because, you know, it's a prophecy for, for, for sure we'll show what we've been wanting to buy. Let me tell you something about Bob Marley. You see, in England... Mm-hmm. You see, any time um, the club then intend to close mm-hmm. and play the last song, mm-hmm. it is always Bob Marley, one love, one heart, let's get together and feel all You're right. You serious? With black, white, everybody who in the so It is an anthem. Okay. Yes. You know, especially in the, in the, in the black country, in the Birmingham, Dudley area. You understand? We're going to have to those places, you know? Okay. Yeah, man. So, yes, man. And everybody in Iraq, one love, one heart, white, and everybody together. You know? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, Bob Marley, I do about anything in him, go on. Yeah. Because even in Japan, remember, say, I, 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 I'm a national hero in Japan, you know? Yeah. 
Because there's but, people and millions of people, so you don't know. It's go big, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, as you, as you say that, um, Barry, I remember I, I went somewhere, correct? And um I met a young man overseas and him say, You Jamaican? I say, Yeah, him say, you know, Bob Marley say, yeah, him say, all right. We going to it was a camp I went to and he said to me, Um, we can sing the song together. And that's how I learned the words of redemption songs. I know it by heart. And that happened over thirty odd years ago. Right. And and, and that is in nineteen eighty, or in the early eighties. As are you? Right. I remember I said, Papa, I think the more it gets older, the high boy, it will get higher. You yeah, get that's true, that's true. Because the five movie, you know, a billion them are going to run this movie after, you know. Yeah, they're going to run. I don't know how to touch on the, the politics thing, you know. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, I'm listening. Listen to me, you see people who are hanging out there, cell phone, chuck, and carry on, and tap on something like that, and carry on, tap on something. Yes. You don't know, stand for them. And I'll tell you why I'm in a child for them. They are all grown up people. Yes. Right? And you must know so when you depend on a, a vehicle in a road. Mm. So can you put it outside the window? Who can you do that? Mm. And then why people see self self for you, middle self for none of them, and pull it for them all this much up to them because you are. You can't make politics or make you a lose your life, you know. All right. Because then that thing you when we check you don't know, eat too dirty. A lot of them treat water around to their feet to do a pass on that. So if you've not got in a couple, you take time, go on and go do what you have to do, you know, you have to have a vehicle and and all that for stop and kill yourself. Yeah. If I, I you agree with you, I agree with you. And if you're going to go support, you do it quietly enough to be on bus. And then I also say police must enforce the law. You're not supposed yes. to have out a vehicle and then on top a bus. And then I even I, saw yeah. a thing where the people were in a police vehicle, you know, they pick up and them and hang off and I drop. Yes. Say, no, man. Mm-mm. Right now, if you have any people who hang off on the bus, the police should have snapped the bus and take off all of them people and then get arrested. Yeah. Come back, my man, I'm going to go on the road, the funny road, you know, other people, the funny road, too. That's true. You understand? And people feel around to see people, so that's why you see young guys, you know, they're going to be because we, as the, as the adult, such a dirty example. Correct. Let me tell you something, man. When we get England, man, mm-hmm. uh, uh, election alone, you don't see a the speaker go on and I tell you, say, go to the one, so I'm going to see the third back of them. Correct. So we take it in a different stupid level. You understand? Go vote me where you want to vote, but you know, be a cut down for a week and I don't want some stupid antics. Yeah. Eh? So, you you, no your, your word to the people, you go vote, we want to vote, that means you go vote, Barry. Right now, I'm not telling you, 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 i am not telling you 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 i am not we are doing wrong, you know, and most was central, but you must find people capable, honest, fear God, and then not take bribe. And those yeah, are so, and those are yeah, you, you know the people them, you know, can you say why your politician live close to your one around? Say you know the people them. So go vote. Go vote. Yeah, man. Well, 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 listen to me. Pastor. Yes. You see it. We respect you and this minute and yes, if I ask you to go vote, me I go vote. Yeah, man, go vote, man. Go exercise your yes. franchise. We work, yes. we yes. fight yes. hard yes. feet, you know. Because you're probably yes. old enough. 1938, when we have to fight for vote and them rights. Eh? You remember that? Yes. A bloodshed yes. for them, something there. So now just give it up. Yes. Some countries, people are big for the right for vote and they can't vote. We have it freedom. Yes. So I'm saying to all Jamaicans, go out and exercise your franchise. Yes. Yes, yes. And, and if you do it, tell everybody and, that. And That's why I tell people, go out yes. and vote. Yes, yes. Whichever side, yes. bell, head, whatever, arm, um, head, whatever, go vote. 
Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you are no France, right? And then we I must hold them accountable <laughs> after that. Right, right, because that may not have vote. Can't hear me now. We have to vote for one out of them, whoever, you know. And then we hold them accountable. And then right, we start to rush them. them. Yeah, man. If yes, them say that, yes, say, so you must do it. Because yeah, I tell because you... Go ahead, Barry. Go, go because ahead. Because, as, as you say, we have, we have somebody up there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so it may change. So if I mean, I think you go vote, somebody still go up there. And I go vote. Mm-hmm. Somebody still go up there. So you better tell me, yeah, yes. go and, and party, you know. Yeah, man. Participate yeah, man. and exercise the franchise. Because the reality yeah. is... That if you don't vote, somebody still have got there. So you go go exercise your franchise, man, bro. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, and as we you say, we have to hold them accountable. accountable. Yeah, man. Because one I of know. the things politicians don't like, you know, is when people are ask them questions and people are push them. So if them yes. think that them all right, then we must hold them accountable. That is why we are the way we are today. Because we know all our politicians are accountable. We say, yeah, all right, put yeah, them man. in, and we know all them accountable. We need to do yes. that, man. Yes, yes. We need yeah, to man. do that. Yeah, anyway, yeah man. We there go and listen. Big up yourself, man. All right, then. All right, yeah, Barry. Listen. Listen. Yeah, man. Good, good. Yeah, man. <laughs> Remember, the lines are open for you to call 279-8473. This is the Morning Connection, and this is your host, Pastor Percival Palmer. Um, even as it, it, we we have said it's a failing grade, but we have to move the system. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Morning, one week. Good morning, Pastor. Morning. Good morning, Cruz. How are you? My horse, up, man. My horse. Me have a drink from my line. Oh, good for you, man. And put and you know what you need to put in it. Put a no. bit of of of. Leaf, leaf, leaf and life. Leaf Alive help you because that will help clear up the chest if anything is down there. But also put the, the you put honey and lime, but then add some we call it again garlic to it. Oh, yeah, uh, one week now, you know what? What I'm doing last week? I no no pick up down here last week. Yeah, Couldn't get the station. I don't know. Appear you know. Re- rebroadcast me here on our own Monday. No man, that was just one day. That was just one day. The rest of the time yeah. we were here. Well, me never get you none at all. The rest of the time, the radio couldn't pick up. Anyway, my point. Mm-hmm. Me not really at all about politics right now, because me never go on a campaign yet. Never. <laughs> um, me, are, me are strictly socialist and communist. We know anyway, that. We know that already. Mm-hmm. What me want to talk about now is the fisherman them will go and see. You mm-hmm. believe those ma- men should have pay, pay, have, have um, license to go out of sea and it's so risky. I think the government should have scrapped that thing. Okay. Yeah, um, there, okay. The risk, the risk with fishermen takes a go to sea, go fishing. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. I'm there, government, they might pay 500, how much? 500,000 or, or what? I mean, I mean, you know, renew their license pass and that evil man, that wicked. Well, well, one of the things well, I that we were saying, and Miss Miss Minet has even raised that it's kind of crazy because what kind of support um, do you give to those people? Because remember, I think you remember she was telling about her niece who just got a call, and some men had been out at sea for a time, and she was them last hope until the men were rescued, cause them gas done and them a float and them call and. SOS and nothing. You, do you, you remember that? When she was reporting no, no, what happened? No. Yeah, man. So no, she, no, man. Her niece, hear that part. Your niece was I able to help some fishermen who were, who were was ashore, but them, them run out of gas and it was the last charge of man of him phone him call and she called back and she was able to help for the Coast Guard to rescue them. And that is a question that people are asking. If you don't pay the thing... <laughs> Three hundred and fifty thousand dollar? No, sir. Mm-mm. Risky Just business. Because you have a license. Because the li- no. because the license is about remember, you know, there's overfishing and it is a kind of regulation that people know that you don't overfish because that is another problem. Like out Portland, they had to set up a place. I said no fishing at all in that era for a time, and out of it, the fish have come back. Look, 
me understand that part. Right. The overfishing. You can't stop it. There's no way they must stop overfishing. The entire world have a problem with that. Overhunting, overfishing. Overcut down the tree, them like where they are doing St. Elizabeth. They are flatten all that tree, they are not plant back none. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Tree are cut down and none. No tree, not, nobody not plant back the tree. Nobody. Okay. Well, that tree is a shout out to Forestry Department and the people in agriculture to plant it back because that is part of what is happening in terms of the global warming effect. Because the trees are no what help to... Yeah, no tree. Like, like me talk about this thing already up in the Santa Cruz Mountain, Malvern era. Yes. Up there clear down and up the so produce rain and the underground water will come down in the river way. With the Black River? Yeah. Yes, because water underground from them places. Wow. And they must build all kind of housing complex up on the hill and they must cut down the tree them and nobody not plant but the tree. So let me ask you, so the, the holy power house where they must build, they get they get permit for do it? Parish Council and they get them permit for do that? I don't know, I don't know. So so that is another thing that you're raising which is important. You say a holy power um, house is being built up there but you don't know and they not plant but no tree. Well, let me tell you something about this housing. You remember when this prime minister come out and I beat him just how much construction and whatever happened in that country? Mm-hmm. I him give the go, I him give the go ahead for all of the slap and so I go on. <laughs> and then I uh, regulate the thing good. Okay. So you, you, yes. you, so you think people interpret that to say then just go ahead and do anything without any regulation? Yes, exactly. Exactly. And that me I talk about. Wow. Yeah. It's just like you remember once I talked about this this man that was on all angles mm-hmm. and they were talking about some illegal building. Mm-hmm. He was a president of some citizen association in the era mm-hmm. and he was on all angles and he said, I have to go do something about it. He was a Chinese man or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. And they killed him. You remember, I tell you, it was a hit. Yeah. I told you on this minute that it was a hit because there were big people in that and big money. You check it out while going now. It wow. was a hit. Even though he was out there with a girl and planet. Them planet. Oh, I remember that. I remember that, yeah. All yeah. right. You take my word for it. It was a hit because a lot of big people it involved in it. Can you see what going on with the, with the big building them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, where, where's Miss Minute? Miss Minute is on vacation this week. She's gone on a, oh, on a sabbatical. Oh, oh, oh. So. Man, all right then, Pastor. All right then, my brother. Blessings. Get well. Yeah. Why, why the, Michael spoke about corruption this morning, and we don't even know. All the different things that are happening. Eight seven six two seven nine eight four seven three. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Um, a few things. Okay. The guy at water commission. The who? The guy at water commission. The manager. The chairman. Mr. Mr. Mark, the, the president, who is on thing there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up between no? Did they charge him any money? Are they going to lick down the building? You know, I don't know. Because that is a good question. The man will take the acronym, the take the acronym on the Governor General property. He got, got to jail for what, six months in you know, prison, right? Yes. And uh, you charge the fisherman them what, 500,000. If they're not renewing. The government always want to be involved in everything. So you are saying you want so your question is I know it was sent on um administrative leave as they did um further investigation. The DPP has said um no charge. No no charge scan meeting because time has expired. So we wait to see what happens because that was a clear um breach of responsibility in terms of what happened in that case so let us see what happened let us see what happens in regards to that which root then um root then oh that but you know that what they have done they have built a major wall 
and the, the <laughs> so it's, there used to be two entrances there was only one the one that was causing the flooding they built yeah. a major wall there now i don't know if people have seen that yeah man i saw it because i drove around there yeah um that's the guy but pastor you notice all the apartment them are building now 35 million four hundred and sixty thousand mm. us you notice how the, you notice why is it that the houses in jamaica I cost so much money, the beach, but uh, I think the lake's supposed to build some out of boom. I'm mean, going to give them money promotion. Why is it that the houses pass up? I run for so much money. The one never finish a port more. Because the demand is there. Remember, it's a question of demand and supply. But I remember somebody who has been in that says, you know, them pulling out of it because they think the market going, going. Make it flood, man. Make it flood. Make it flood. <laughs> Because he was saying it looks like him say I'm pulling out of this thing, you know, because that market going to become inverted in short order. That's what he was saying. But Pastor, I built a room for five days ago, and that room never ever cost me, and a nice size room never ever cost me 300000 How is it that, as I said to me, minute, you build a box and it's for $8 million, $34 million. Tell me now, Pastor, forty million. million. Someone build a cherry garden now, one pint. Five million US. You tell me, them people are real. If they are real, uh-huh. of course they are real. Cause uh-huh. them uh-huh. think somebody uh-huh. will buy it. No one know they start anything about it. They always in church talking about it. The whole time I just scam a car. No, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Dave, Dave, hold on, Dave, hold, hold. But you, it is. Remember, there is a free market in terms of housing. One of the concerns that you have had, though, is that with NHT, you're supposed to be building houses for the average Jamaican to be able to purchase it. But if you observe what happened, you know, when NHT um, allocation goes up, you know the houses <laughs> move also. Yes. And that is unfortunate. But it's a question of demand and supply. What will happen, you know, you continue to build, build the houses, supply, but the demand will go down because people can't afford it. That is what will happen eventually. But the NHT has a responsibility, I believe, to provide housing for low to medium yeah, persons. But Pastor, NHT, I give them from them also one or three, four housing and about not looking to that. Now. Oh, they I are? Know, I don't know I about that. You are yes. telling me. You are telling yeah, me that. Yes, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unfortunate, but that's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But we have to keep on bringing it out in the open so people can yeah, begin yeah. to act. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me tell you something, man. You see the PNP and the JLP? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Because, you see, you see, whatever JLP means now, I went to the legacy of the PNP. You know. You've been taking out the beat to some people. I'm doing PJ time that, you know, our JLP, you know. Run with it, so it's true. I'm a taste of pass. I told him the same thing. And the I people need to stand up, them. whatever it is. As a somebody says, I'm not one says you must, you must not vote. I'm just saying that we need to become more conscious as a populace and begin to demand more of thank you, for this, more. demand more, yeah, not demand way. more of our politicians. I put in there. And there's a responsibility you have. You promise, so you need to fulfill it. Hold them Pastor, accountable. Yes, sir. Pastor, the party only have us to just feel the democratic deal. It's a 21 out of 25 family around Jamaica. Look, look. I look at the state. Look at the state of the country, Pastor. The, the, the side of the Go in and hear them and sh- look at the infrastructure. I look at any one of them 21 family and say anything to offend the PNP and the JLP. Why is it that they don't take the money and give these people bill sidewalk, bill wall, the place, bush pass, and I'm a tap and TV at talk about KCC. And anything the big man them say, go, Andrew Wallace, all the thing he can do, go up there and give an impression for the people and vote. The Jamaica, the average Jamaica, the Poor black people, man, are chatting at Jamaica. The only time I'm out the car is the vote. That's why I say them for vote, vote, can me have vote. And as a man who respect my family and love my family, bring a suit for vote for some. It's probably a vote for the rest of the party. All right, then, sir. I'm going to the party. Okay, then. But for vote, 
We but need to we go out and vote. It's about time we start benefit from Jamaica because we don't run away. Even foreigners get better benefit from Jamaica than we are patriotic. We don't get no benefit more than police are disrespect with and gunmen are disrespect with. All right? No, and the rich people them are, are, are care of prices, prices, increase, increase. And not, there's not the only thing we, we get here is a good, good God here, the oxygen. And them soon start taxes. Watch if them not bring that thing to the tax. <laughs> you have a good day. You have a good day, Pastor. Oh, watch, my Lord. Watch, 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 watch. Watch if them not. They might come with some mechanism to tax the air. Go a breed. Okay, I hear you. Now, if you miss war, we're going to fight for us about water and food. After COVID, we don't know nothing about farming, and we don't know nothing about building the next time we're talking about money for, for, for trucks, for channel water. We need to build more dam. Okay. And stop robbing the money. Okay, sir. All right, All right then. Cool. Wow. Father? Cause us to become more conscious and not to become overwhelmed by what seems to be like giant, but let us become giant slayers by the actions that we do on a daily basis. And the lines are open 876-279-8473. Good morning. Yeah, hello. Good morning, sir. Yeah, man. I'm um, in the call earlier, but you either ask me if I have anything. But I'm um, a little tinker off my mind, is it? Yes. You're still out in St. Elizabeth because somebody called from there. No, I'm in a reach at St. Elizabeth. Yeah, but I'm traveling here the afternoon. Okay. Um, what, what I'm going to try to say now. Um, 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 people who um, put, put up themselves to be like candidates, candidates, councillor candidates are. Or um, M- uh, candidates for MP, member of parliament. Um, what what should happen? You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. What what happened? What happened presently? The, the the PNP or the JLP just impose a candidate and say, "All right, you are gonna run for council. You are gonna run for um, say, say, say MP." What should happen? Um, for example, there should be a um, a, a government system where um, people who wish to represent a constituency or a division they would um, they would um, submit their names by a certain set of date, mm-hmm. and these candidates must be put through the um, town hall yeah, but, but... with the within these um um constituency or division it is it's a counter candidate division you, the division must know you you go around they have town crier going around for and, and all right but the people to come out that is in then, okay but but based on our system it is political parties that put up candidates if you want to be a independent you can do that so if you want to run independent of a political party you can do that um it's now it's 9 31 so if you can hold or take a break or call me back all right but our system is you can anybody can go run you know anybody can run whether they're independent or a part of a political system but in our system anybody can put themselves up as a candidate as long as they are on the voters list all right, we're going to take our 9.30 break. All right, yeah, then? Good. Mm. Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya. I have business down by JPS, and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888-225-5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they must give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for the young people.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659, ABC Electrical Sales, for a better choice. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. Your taxes hold the key. Let's get digital. Get online this March 15. File and pay your final income tax return for 2023 and estimated return for 2024. There are so many options. JamaicaTax.gov.jm, direct funds transfer, NCB online banking, and Scotia online and mobile app. Pay your taxes the digital way. All returns must be filed online and on time. Tax Administration Jamaica, changing the way we do business. The following is a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. Jamaican people, JLP say building time. Anything less, we now fear them no mind. Building for you and your community. We will build up Jamaica by supporting good policies. Yeah, build up better life for you and for me. The proceeding was a paid announcement by the Jamaica Labour Party. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> good morning, Carla, welcome. Thank you for holding. Oh, morning, Pastor. Good morning. Mm. It's said, I don't talk about the politics, you know, but you just remember this, and I don't talk about it from last week. Hey, what? You realize, sir, the JLP and the PAP have some people that went independent. Yes, I saw that. About, uh, about 12 or 13. The about four. The PAP have about four. Mm-hmm. And the JLP have more. Seven. Mm. So how many know here, me know, now follow the media and if I hear that for some fight. It, it looked like they're scared of the leader so they take it quiet and just move on. No, what happened in it was in the paper last week, I think Wednesday after election day, that the PMP expelled one guy in one guy in in Westmoreland, one person in Saint Anne. No. And Pastor. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying. You don't hear of much infighting in the JLP. Oh. Like the PNP. Oh, but you mean it It could be how them carry the narrative in the thing, you know? Because remember, you know? No, 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 Pastor. They are telling the reason. They are scared of them leader. Oh, they are scared That's of the leader? Just yeah. like the leader. Just like for an Asian time, man. <laughs> yeah. I told Oh, that's interesting. I never thought. I, it was in the paper, though. Um, the you JLP know, had yeah, seven people. It, it surprised me to know that seven JLP gone independent. Think about it. Well, and you hardly hear anything about it. Some fight on the news. Yeah, it's only one you heard about the guy who crossed the road, crossed the yes. the, the yeah, JLP the guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we hear about that. Cause that could not, that could not, them could control that. Mm -hmm. Cause them never expect him to do it. Cause them say them know, say him a try long time. 
Oh, well, they know say my try a long time. <laughs> so them say, so our MP say. They, they <laughs> so you mean, you so you mean Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I don't remember who said that. But the Minister of say. Information. Yeah, no man, me stop lying information. <laughs> you have a name for him. He's a lad, this person in politics, trust me. Mm, okay, trust me. yeah, all right. What so I got me call back to find out. So it's showing you how people scared that the JLP leader them from Asian time. But this one seems like they scared of him more. Well, you see what happens. Because I'll from remember I know I saw MP with plans to run back, you know. All of a sudden then they run, other people run around space. Ah, and they don't say nothing. They yeah. gave them a lick out. So because it, yeah. it, it it made them work a while, you know. Remember that happened in, in Kingston here, you know. And with one of the MPs. They made it work his while. Yeah. That they may go quietly. It's a party. You have to change the person. If they think something wrong. But you normally hear them at first. Mm-hmm. And fight. And oppose. They say they want to stay. But you know, hear them say anything. Then just take it quiet. So when they can pay them, get it quiet. I will steal That's them. what I'm saying. You, it could be it. They, they instead of fussing them, it made it work them well. So them said, well, if we can go at a, a five, ten, fifteen, twenty million dollar, me not good to go. Hello, we yeah, make nice for. Because remember, people get into politics because of the money. You know that seems to be a driving thing. So let us yeah, see if yeah. that is changing. Because I hear a lot of people say. They will join any side and as long as they get something. We are going to party to that. We are going when we think when I party better and we help people more and have a heart. You come from the old school though, you know. Because I've heard that even in terms of young people have been saying it, unfortunate, that whoever pay them more, they may vote for them. But I'm saying, no, you can't do that. You're, you're coming yeah. like Esau, sell your birth, right? If you are a, 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 a pot of, of, of soup or thing and then when you see it they say oh my lord but most people not think them way anyway what do you think about this this journalist what's his name again that went down to putin went down to to putin to russia oh you mean i know you're talking who interviewed no, him we're not here and i discuss it the media the local media the tv man said we know about it why I don't know, because it's just against the main and he came under a lot of flak fight. I know you're talking, and Brian, let me think. Carlson, 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 yeah. The Jamaican media just scared the United States, just like how they scared the Liberal Party. Why? Why we can't talk to just talk it as it is? You mean express your opinion freely? Yes, as I do not kill nobody or hurt nobody. Why then they talk it through? A few people know what caused the Ukraine war, you know, like me. You know what caused it. I know what what caused Ukraine war? Tell thing. me now. That's interesting. What is your perspective? What caused Ukraine war? Pastor, you never know. No, you tell me. That's what I'm asking. No, Pastor, you're too bright. You don't know that. Anyway, let me tell you something. <laughs> 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 I remember I was the main man on this station defending Putin. That's a thing. Big chocolate called for me. Fair yeah, defend Putin. <laughs> Putin yeah. said never. Putin, yet, yeah, you, all right, let me say, Putin said that he wanted to negotiate, but it was Boris who, who torpedoed what he must do in the Boris Johnson. You know, you heard that one there? You heard that one? Yeah, me hear that man. Okay, but all right. You know why? You know why? I don't know. Why? Because after them showed the elected leader done that thing in 2014 or 2010, Yes. English so English company go down, they go buy with a whole pile of business. Oh, Boris Johnson? His people in England, man, some big rich man go down to Ukraine, go buy up a lot of business. Okay. Just like America. So that's why they never want them, them, and they not come right in a Putin backyard. We should know that. All so right, so. I, I was the main man we had defend Russia and Putin. My mother tell them, said, Putin is one of the cleanest leaders I will have right now. Even though them skin do all kind of things, he kill who, he kill that. America, America kill more leaders than Putin. All right, so you agree. say. I, I if would not. Have a son, if me have a son in my yard, I mean, he say, he my plan to overthrow me, I'm not right. You're killing. All right, sir. I hear you. I hear you. 
All yeah. right, brother. All okay. Right. Okay then. Why? Um, crews have some interesting views. <laughs> but you know, it is free. Freedom of expression. And that is what our constitutions allow. Some of them might be right of center, left of center, but that's how it is. Um but you are free to express your, your opinion. Good morning, caller. How are you? Yeah man, um yeah, man. Mm, it was uh, great. It was going for the break, you know? Yeah, man. So you were saying, go ahead, my brother. You were yeah. saying. Um, council and, and MC candidate, you see? They right. Must be on the voters list. They must meet with the people within the constituency. But that see? makes sense, you know, brethren. And, and, and in a town hall meeting, and they must be able to um answer questions from the people how they're gonna improve their situation because i travel over jamaica and say i'm gonna empty the 40 years even in my constituency the mp them do nothing and then every election then come back to the people them are win so you know yeah but Hello? but what i'm okay so I'm, I'm hearing what you are saying but that is something that we must demand that is why i'm one of the persons who pushes for um, what I call um, constitutional reform. Those things need to be a part of the covenant that people have with us that we need to know what I'm saying. So you people saying they're not, um, as it were, getting, um, pushing a bag or anything like that. So, yes, for example, for example, a but, man but, who, who comes from uptown, mm-hmm. up at St. Andrew, mm-hmm. he live all in life in a luxury, um, him left from way up in a St. Andrew, the party imposed him on a farming community. He don't know the culture of the people. He don't know, first of all, when you're going to representation of party, you must know the culture of the, the constituents that you're going to represent. How, they, who, how do they, what, what are the economic, way of, what are the ways in which they make money, right? What they do to survive? Is it, is it a farming area? Oh, I see. So they need to understand the economics of the era in order to see how yes. they do that. But that yes. again, you know, um, caller is related to the overall vision of a country. Because one of the things I have said, and I still contend that food security is important. We're an island state, so we must be able to feed ourselves. We are too import dependent. So anywhere you go, like in terms of a policy and how we use our arable land. We can't use it and build house. Because after you build, put house up there, you can't do anything with it. So you can't use your best lands, your best agricultural lands to build houses. Those are some of the things I think should be a part of yeah. our new covenant in terms of going forward that you are ensuring yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. prosperity for, example, for everybody. A, a man come, him come on a campaign trail, and in the set in my account, say, all right, I am a PNP. Is the PNP um, 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 candidate? For- we're going to give, give Every man capable of doing Can this man help you? So, over 30, 40 years, this man did it as I don't change, yeah. When him get when him get old well, now, him pass it down to his son. Mm-hmm. All right, so That's, so is that you calling for a change in terms of how we do um what we do? And I'm in agreement with you, my brother. Yeah, man. The people them at the constituency of the division must know who they are voting for and what this person is gonna bring to the table. For example, if you pass that go employ somebody in our in our organization. You have to know so that person that brings the skills and can do the job, right? True. Then that's what happened with MP and, and you know, just impose on man through me and an orange shirt or a green shirt. Yeah. So? so we have to do what we have to do in order to move it forward. That's yeah, why I says, but, right, cool, but yeah. I'm saying people must vote and must hold our, our elected officials accountable. That's how we need to begin to start doing this thing. Hold the people yes. accountable. Yes. You must be able as an MP candidate or as a counselor tell me what you can do to improve my my division and my constituency so that we the people that live in the country can have a better life. Right. So? Yeah. 
All right, yeah, we'll call man. You're All our right. last caller yeah. for the morning, but thank you for calling. Yeah, yeah man, of course. Good, good. I, I, some people online, I don't know. Um, Mr. Stewart was saying that caller not too knowledgeable about the economic affair of Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And then one person was saying, Pass a good morning, leave Rasta business alone. It seems as if money is the order of your rest of your day. I was, I, I don't know if it was related, engineer, as we close out, because I was saying the people act. The, the, the one love movie is, is, is a movie, is actors who act. Um, and I think it's a good movie. Uh, yeah, people are saying that, um, but. I, get, I don't know what, how the decisions were made. I know that in order to make it authentic, they employed Faye Ellington as a speech coach to ensure it happened. Mm, they said they, they to find somebody because an actor, yeah, yeah, it's an actor, you know. So if because I remember here on another station, a lady who got a call back to 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 actors. I think it's Rita's mom or Rita herself. And she never, she never went back. So the truth is, um, the reality out there is that it has happened. It is it causing wave, but in it, you see Bob. Because I grew up in that area, a lot of the music. I was talking about um, emancipation, Exodus, how that came about, and just some of the behind the scenes thing that we never knew would happen in the paper too um anita bell navis who i think is one of bob's children mama saying she liked it yeah i don't know um there's a big thing online between rita a poll that was done between rita and cindy breakspear i all kind of mix up and blend has been happening but it highlighted for me just the impact of Bob's music, not on Jamaica, but on the rest of the world. Um, in 1980, when Rhodesia that became Zimbabwe, their independent celebration, Bob was featured, and Bob always wanted to do a tour of Africa. Thank God he was able to do it before he passed in 19... 1981, Bob did, or 80, something like that. He passed at the age of 36 years old. But good movie, good portrayal. Um... Those who have studied it can have a different opinion. But I saw the movie and I was moved in terms of what it represented for us. So we have come to the end of our this edition of the, the Morning Connection. Afterwards, we have... It's farming around JA. That's what it is. Inside the soil. Inside the soil um, follows up from um, 10 to 12. Um, should be a good show and this man speaks about um, our food security which is a very important thing for us Uh, we invite you remember I tell you go and exercise your democratic franchise go and vote Um, some people I say PRPRGLP but in not voting you are voted and whatever you get you have to live with it for the next two three years But when you vote, remember, we need to be mobilized to hold our politicians even more accountable for what them saying they are going to do. And then you need to be able to discern between what them saying. Some of them talk is just, uh, them usually have a thing, they call it rum, that's a rum talk. Um, But we know what our realities are. So if somebody says, no, that don't make no sense or this makes sense. All right. And you can only judge somebody based on what they have done. People are saying to us, but what is the PMP doing? No, the, the GLP are the people who the Jamaica Labour Party government is the people are being examined based on what they said in 2016, what they have said in 2020. People are looking to say how it is that it has impacted my life in a personal way. If you think they have done well, you vote for them. If you think you need a change, then in the PMP, or you vote an independent in the parish council election. Thank you very much. This is your host, Percival Palmer. I'm going solo this week um, as my our beautiful co-host is on a sabbatical for about the next 10 days. 
this is your, this is me signing off this morning for from the morning connection have a wonderful day
100 FM, broadcasting live in all 14 parishes. Hanover 100.5, 100.9. St. James 100.9. Trelawney 100.3, 100.9. St. Anne 100.3, 100.5. St. Mary 100.5. Westmoreland 100.1, 100.5. St. Elizabeth 100.1, 100.5 Manchester 100.1, 100.5 Clarendon 100.1, 100.5, 100.9 St. Catherine 100.5, 100.9 St. Andrew 100.5, 100.9 St. Thomas 100.5 and 100.9 Best FM, giving you the better vibe. One hundred on your dial. Keep listening. Your taxes. Let's get digital this tax season. File and pay your final income tax return for 2023 and estimated return for 2024 due on March 15. With tax support in so many ways, start connecting with us through our web hub at JamaicaTax.gov.jm, Customer Care Center 888 Tax Help, or Special Taxpayer Assistance Program. Tutorials available online. All income tax returns, including individual, must be filed online and on time by March. 15 tax administration jamaica changing the way we do business <laughs> grandpa where are you going but see ya uh, i have business down by jps and i need steven to take me i'm going to see what i owe and pay you know how to leave the yard pops just call 888-225-5577 you mean if you tell me say me not have to wait in line anymore we have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842 watch ya uh, how them get me new number how them know is me grandpa I registered your account so when you call from this phone JPS already knows you and they just give you information look 